I'm reviled right now, but there are, it's not locked in, so I can... Hello, everybody. Welcome to Battleground Games Live Special Edition, Birthday Edition for Amanda. Yay! Happy birthday, Happy birthday, birthday Amanda! Happy birthday! Thank so, you. I'm the disembodied voice of Andrew. Hi, everybody. Disembodied? I'm, I'm over here. I'm going to be acting as chat mod and stuff so that Amanda can concentrate on playing games. It's very and sweet of you, honey. Amanda is... Uh, are, we are joined by... I'm joined by my friend Sarah. Hi. Hi. Hi, Sarah. I had mentioned on the stream the other night that Sarah might be joining us. Um, and I am excited that you are here. I'm excited to be here. Yes. I have known Sarah for years and years. I think you're my second oldest friend. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Toshi and I realized the other night, he was like, wait, have we like talked, literally talked almost every day for how many years? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, buddy. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. Um, we're gonna play Fallout because it's my birthday and I wanna. So. So I'm gonna switch yeah. cameras so that folks can see. Uh, the trick being that Sarah has never played a Fallout game at yeah. all. So at she's all. not familiar with the lore. Yes. Nope. There we but go. But this is good because I want to see if you can enjoy the game not really knowing yeah. Fallout. So. Um, because that's definitely one of those things where, um, I like knowing that a game is solid even not knowing what it's yeah. based on. Because when you have thematic games like BSG, I feel like it's more fun if you know the characters. Yeah, exactly. Definitely BSG is one of yeah. those games where the flavor of the game is so perfect. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're going to play Fallout. We have picked the Commonwealth scenario for Fallout. Um, and we're playing a two-player game, but we're going to try and play sort of co-op-y and see how that works. Um, so they have revealed their yeah. uh, goals to each other. We have our goals revealed. We have our... our First uh, card revealed. You guys have not so chosen your we have not yet. extra so special stats. Pick yeah. two and choose one to keep. Well, I'm going to pick that C. So I am a charismatic and perceptive ghoul. And then you toss whatever you don't pick. What is the E and the I again? Uh, I is intelligence and uh -huh. E is endurance. I'm going to take intelligence. Excellent. All right. So, so let me read... The well, scenario. I'm just going to oh, explain okay. to Sarah how experience works okay. first since we just chipped stats. So you have your little experience tip yep. here. So anytime you get an experience point, you move it up by one to any of the things that you filled in. Okay. So when you get an experience point, you would move it up to the eye. Okay. It skips over the ones that you don't that fill in. Empty. And then when, like if I were to get three experience for something, mm -hmm. I would go boom, boom, and then back to the start. Okay. That means I've gone up a level and I get to pull two more of these, pick one and put them in. Okay. But that means every level you go up takes that much longer. Right. To go up another level. Gotcha. Which I like. It's like a good way of doing that additional experience. Yeah, to go up another level. Um, and the stats that you have allow you to re-roll rolls that use those stats. Okay. So if I'm doing a stat roll that uses perception, I get one re-roll for having perception as a, a stat. Um, and there are certain weapons, like your tire iron has an S. Yes. So um, a thing that has an S, you can use that to re-roll. So, yeah. And if you're well rested, that counts as a re-roll. Okay. But you, you exhaust it for doing that. Right. So. Um, so that's how that works. And we are starting out with a quest. Yes. And we have a couple of things on the board yeah. already. We have a synth at Diamond City. We have a robot over at the CIT Ruins. What robot is it? Um, it is a Mr. Gutsy. Ooh, that sounds tough. Yeah, he's got a ranged weapon, and you can only hit his arms, which is annoying. And he's a level two. Um, these are randomly drawn out of their stacks. These guys? Yeah, yeah, they're not all the same type of robot or the same type of critter. And we have a super mutant. Uh, it's a super mutant brute. Uh, he does have loot, but he is aggressive. He's a level three, and you can only hit him in the chest. And we have a militarized synth chillin' in Diamond City. Gee, I wonder who that could be. Yeah. It's the mayor. All right. Um, and this is the quest yes, that we have. Yes, this is our guys. first quest. So, welcome to the Commonwealth. Many dangers lurk in this new wasteland ahead of you. But one you have heard the most about is the dreaded synth. <gasps> Said to look, sound, and smell just like humans, they are robots who have infiltrated the very society of the Commonwealth. Now, quest cards, and I'll show this to the chat here, quest cards have two different options, sometimes three. Yeah. Uh, and the public quests that are out here 
you can always see what the options are. Uh, sometimes you'll do an encounter, and when you do an encounter, you don't get to see, oh, where's the encounter decks? They're still I, here. It, I think it's still in I'll there. get them out. Yeah. Um, so the two options for Welcome to the Commonwealth are kill a suspected synth that no one will miss to find out the truth. In order to do that, kill any human any dude. Yeah. Okay. This is the one quest that I found where you can pop it very easily mm -hmm. yeah. without meaning to. Yeah, because like, killing a human happens all the time in this game. Because <laughs> it's entirely possible that between the tiles, one of these tiles between us and Diamond City, which we'll is one of the things, on that's the second part of that quest, um, will be the raider camp and we'll have a human. Right. And yeah. to get through it, we're going to end up fighting. Sure. And then the guy dies, and that's how the quest goes. The other option, though, annoying. if you don't want to kill a human, is this all sounds a bit overblown. Head to Diamond City to discreetly dig up some information. And in order to complete that quest, all you have to do is get to Diamond City and spend a turn there talking to folks. Yeah. Quest in Diamond City. So. So those are the two options that you have available to you. Right. Amanda, you should probably go first so you can explain yeah. what the, the so options you get are two actions per turn okay your action options are you can move and you get two movements okay. so two spaces anywhere you can explore by turning over an un unturned tile mm -hmm. that is adjacent to the space that you're on okay in any way so like if you had another tile up here you could go with either, either of them. those um like actually you can go with either of these because your space does even though i'm like one. even though you're, it's kind of bordered off Oh no, you're sorry, that's yeah, you're, you're, but I could do either one of those. Right. Um once you've you can move, which is two spaces, but you can split your movement. Okay. So you could be like, I'm gonna like if I was back here, I could say I'm gonna move one, explore, and then move up my second like half of my movement. Right. Um but since I'm right Already there, there, I don't have to move to do it. Um you can camp. And that just means that you're going to hang out. That means you regain a couple of hit points and mm -hmm. you gain the well-rested perk, which is okay. nice. Yeah, um, well-rested is definitely yeah. very handy. Um, and if you're on a uh, space with like a creature and it's not aggressive towards you, if it's aggressive towards you, it's going to attack you as soon as you moved into the space with it. But if you're on that space and it's not aggressive, you can choose to use your action to fight mm -hmm. and attack it. Okay. Um, or you can encounter something if you're on a space with one of these icons, either the ruin icon or the settlement icon. Okay. Um, and by encountering things, you get to draw from the two little encounter decks. And all these guys. Yep. Yeah, that has the relevance. Right, right. As we start completing quests, sometimes those quests tell us to add quests to those encounter decks. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, you found, uh, you've heard word of a person in this place. Yeah you know, quest at ruins until you encounter it. And eventually you encounter it because you've added that card to it. Um, so I'm going to explore here. So there's some radiation there, which is fine by me because I'm playing a ghoul. Radiation is the green thing? Yep, green bordered. Red bordered is difficult terrain and mm -hmm. takes oh, your entire movement. For your okay. hit points are still too Oh high. yeah, I should be at 12. Because you're the ghoul. Because I'm a ghoul. Um, so I'm going to use, oh, and a bug. Can you hand me one of the critter this one? tiles? Yep. So that comes in active. It is a rad roach. Um, if it hits me, it would do rad damage, but I don't take rad damage, so... That's good for you. Yeah. Um, but I am actually going to... So I explored. I'm going to do, do two and go to Hoffman Farm and just hang out there, because that was my entire movement and my action. Okay. So now it is your turn. Okay. Can I explore that tile? Next? Sure can. This is the Super Duper Mart. So a dude is going to come out, so you can take one of the little skulls. Yep. And we have a looter. So he's got stuff, but he's also cowardly. He'll run away if you fight him and don't beat him. Okay. Um, and he's not aggressive, so you could move around him, and he's not going to come after you. And like, if he moves into the space with you, he's not going to attack you. So we don't have to pop the quest okay. that way. There are aggressive things that will they have you. little lightning bolts and they'll if you move into a space with them they immediately so like this you. guy if we were over here it would attack you he would like he's gonna try and come into like they're all gonna be moving towards sure. him but because he has the lightning bolt if he gets into a space with you it's an immediate attack gotcha whereas like if you move into this space 
you can decide not to attack that leader. Mm -hmm. You could be like, no, nah, we're just chilling in different parts of the building. Okay. But I can move around them. I can go one and then go two, this one. Yeah. Yep. You definitely can. Okay. All right. So that is our turn. That's our round. So at the beginning of the next round, we turn over one of these and super mutants move. So he's going to be moving towards us. So he's moving one space. Okay. Up. When they move into an uncover or a covered tile, the tile counts as one space. Okay. So you can slow things down by uncovering the tiles because mm -hmm. it gives them more terrain to move. Because they have to go through the, the sections. If it uncovers while something's on it, the person who uncovers it, who explores it, gets to decide where on the tile it goes. It goes. That's cool. Yeah. All right. So I am going. I'm going to explore this mm -hmm. tile here. Uh, another critter comes out, and it is a rad scorpion. Well, if I do one movement in there, it's going to attack me, but it's only a level one, and it won't count as my move to fight it. Okay. So, like, I explored, so that was one of my moves, and then my second action is, is half of my movement. Right. So I moved once. It's going to attack me. So now I roll my dice. Okay. So, so if you I look do at the creature, it. it shows you what areas you have to hit. Yep. So it's got arms and legs oh, I as see. the parts that you need to hit. Okay. And on the dice, the dice show you different places yeah. that you have hit on okay. a thing's body. Uh huh. So I hit arms and legs. Uh huh. Which is awesome. So I kill it because I only needed one hit on it because it doesn't have armor. Um, armor is a little shield mm -hmm. symbol, and you need one additional hit on it. What is the little dot next to the arms? So that's how many hits it gets on me. Oh, okay. So the different sides of the dice, and like some, some of them, them have them, yeah. And then there's one that also has two. Mm -hmm. But that's also what you use to determine successes when you're doing like skill checks. Okay. Is you'll be like, oh, okay, I need to roll a three. Mm -hmm. That means you need to roll three dice. Okay. So the dice do like double duty, which right. is cool. So I killed it. Um, I get one experience point for killing it, and that gets shuffled back into the critters. So my experience thing goes up to a P, and I'll use my other half of my movement to move there. Okay. And that is my turn. All right. Um, can you explore more than one tile, or only one at a time? No, you, you can, can move. You one. can explore two tiles. Hey, Derek. Hey. Hello. Hi there. Hi. Andy. I don't recall uh, Rick and Morty getting moved or put anywhere by any chance. The system says we have two, but I didn't think um, it went So do you want to do? But you wouldn't be able to move okay. on to either yeah. of them because you'd be Thank using you. both of your both actions. Both of my actions would be to explore. Uh, but let's go ahead and do that. That's okay. a good idea. Sure. God, there's some really nasty terrain, like right in between. But there's like roads in between us and yeah, Island City. All right, so we need another dude because we uncovered the raider camp. I'm gonna go investigate Rick and Morty. Sure. Um, so we have a bounty hunter. He's got a ranged weapon, which means if he activates and you're a space away, he, he will attack. Yeah. Um, but if you're in the space, with, like he basically gets a free hit. Okay. On you. Um, but if you're in the space within his ranged weapon, does him no good whatsoever. Oh, all right. So. Okay. So that's my turn, right? Because I, I use both my actions to, to explore. explore. Yeah, you do have a free, like you do have a clear mm -hmm. road through here that's not ir irradiated or difficult. This is actually, I really like this map. It makes sense, like terrain-wise. Yeah. Because we've got the rough terrain here, and we've got a road to the farm and a road to Diamond City, and then this is a road. What do the arrows mean? Um, they go up oh, that okay. way, so that like if you turn it over and you're like, oh, it goes this way. No, it always goes the way the arrow oh, is pointing. Oh, gotcha, so, gotcha. Yeah. That makes sense. All right. So, new round. Okay. Let's activate. All right, so the shield is going to move into the space with me, but it's not aggressive. So you don't have to fight. It has a ranged weapon, but it's not aggressive. Um, we don't have any large beasts. We do have a critter, though. So that critter is going to move... Two, three, one, two, three. It's either way. Um, move it towards me. <laughs> oh, actually, I killed. I killed that was one in there. here. Yeah. So I need another one that's that would have been. It would come out down, and now it activates, so it's up. So they when you kill something in a space, it replaces itself. It replenishes. Yeah. Okay. 
So like if we were to kill this, it would a new one would spawn one at would the, spawn the original tile. Exactly. And yeah. they spawn face down and then at the end of the turn. When they it's when they activate. So oh. they may stay like if we didn't have critters activate. That one would have stayed. It would have just down. stayed right there, yeah. Um, so we'll do that, and that's it, because we don't have any large beasts, which is nice. Okay. Um, so I am going, I'm going to go into Diamond City, and use mm -hmm. half a movement, and then I'm going to encounter in Diamond City. So if you grab me the first um, little this trailer one? card, yeah. Now the thing is, I'm not supposed to be able to see the outcomes, so if you, you will read, read me the stuff. Yes. Um, the gold part? Yeah. Okay. As you go about your shopping, a shady individual approaches you and whispers in your ear, Hello, friend. You look like someone who is seeking more interesting fare than what's going on sale than what's on sale here. So you have do I read you the options? So you can tell me what the yeah, well you can tell me what to do, but don't read me the outcomes if I Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you have three options. You can ignore him and continue your shopping. You can slink away from him. Or you can yell for the guard. I'll read it. I'll read it for you. Sarah's doing it for me because okay. it's me that's encountering it. So. Okay. Um. I'm back. I'm just going. There's nothing I can buy right now. Um. I'll slink away from him. Okay. Are there any skill checks involved in any of these? No. Okay. Uh, okay, so if you slink away from him, uh, nothing ventured, nothing gained. The grinning man wishes you a well, uh, wish, ushers you to a well-hidden booth. Um, so you become vilified. I'm already vilified. Okay. Uh, draw and add two cards to the shop. Okay. And then if you shop, I'm guessing that means if you shop, right? Yep. Uh, you can buy weapons and drugs for two less. Oh. Ooh. Well, I can't afford that um, ripper. But I can get that addict all. Because then I can not be addicted to anything. And if I get that drug um, yeah. thing, I can just have that hanging out. I'll buy that. I'll, I'll spend two less. Two less. Awesome. I'll spend two caps on that. Good deal. Yeah. Where does this go? Uh, it goes back on the bottom of the deck. So that They're sort of repeatable, like, grindy quests. Sure. Yeah. All right. Um, and because I quested in Diamond City, that pops the second half of that quest, yes? Oh, yes. I don't think we've ever managed oh, to get to Diamond the, City. It's two different things. Oh. If you encounter this deck, it's different from solving this quest. Oh, I thought that was what you needed to do to solve that quest. No, it's, it's do a... It's do an... Not doing it, no, not encounter the city, but oh, I misunderstood. No, well, then I'll encounter that. Okay, that's fine. We've never, we've just never gotten to Diamond City without killing a guy, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's too. We've easy always to killed kill a guy when we've, yeah, but the guys we've uncovered aren't aggressive, so so we slung that. All right, so your turn. I want to fight somebody. Come on, fight yeah, someone. Can I move and fight that guy? What leaps to mind for yeah. you guys for? Good two-player board games. Patchwork. Patchwork. Uh, Seven Wonders game. Duel. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, um. I mean, there's the Harry Potter game. You can play that two-player. The deck builder. Stuff is that sold out? There yeah, should be one. Yeah, we sold out. No, we sold it yesterday. Oh. I was gonna say it was there yesterday, but. Oh. Um. I'm trying to think. Good two players. Um, I mean, Sarah and I are playing Fallout two-player, but yeah, I know you don't have that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what did you say, Patchwork? What was the other one you said? Uh, Seven, Seven Wonders, Wonders Duel. Duel. That mm -hmm. might be yeah. Good. yeah. Those yeah. are the two that leap to mind for me. Yeah, Yeah, those are good two-player. All right, shove something down. We will. Um, How about you, chat? Do you have any recommendations for two-player games? Is there anyone watching? No. No, nope. <laughs> I didn't think so. It's too early in the day. Um, so you want to go fight this guy? Yeah. All right. So you will do one, two as your movement, and then fighting a dude. Oh, fight a dude. The thing is, if you do that, that pops the quest. Oh, because not I didn't. Do that yet? Yeah. Okay. So is maybe there I'll a bug that you could fight instead? No, I don't have to fight. Not close. In oh, actually, you could. You could go through here. You could go one, two. Oh no. No. That's one, two. It's okay. Why don't we? Yeah. I will fight next time. 
Okay. Um, so let's go to... You want to come up here? Yeah. Um, Do you want to encounter? Yeah, that there? sounds like fun. She's okay, going to encounter some ruins. It's a ruin. All right. It is really warm. You encounter a rusted and damaged Mr. Handy Robot. Whoa, man. Far out, it says. It seems to be wandering aimlessly. There aren't any people around. You have two options. One, leave the robot and loot the building. Or two, reprogram the robot, which is an intelligence and luck check of four. Um, I think I'm going to loot. Okay. So... You tell the Mr. Handy you're going to enter the building. Groovy, it replies. You get a loot for every level of this uh, location. So one loot. One loot. A loot card for you. What'd you, you get, get a bunch of caps. I got a fistful of caps. Immediately discard this card and gain three caps. Nice. Good deal. That's yeah, that's good. always nice. Here's some dollars. Yeah. I actually painted caps when I got Now something here. happens? Or you yes. still have one more movement. I have one more movement. Want. Yeah. You so let's go move. here. Sure. Awesome. All right. So end of the round. Robots and the underground. The uh, the railroad. Okay. Uh, oh. ro- we don't have any railroad out, so on the one robot. The robot towards us. All right. So now I'm going to do the Diamond City. Okay. Thing. So. Uh, quest of Diamond City. You get two loot. You, the uh, star moves up on the influence track. Can I please have three caps? Yes, you can. And we stage and add some stuff. So we stage 16 and 67. I prefer the railroad to the, the CIT. Yeah. They're trying to help. The CIT is like killing people. No. Not, not super chill with that. We don't like them. And I did see a theory that it's the railroad that's killing people and replacing them with sense. Um, that like the CIT is just sending sense out right. and that the railroad is the one because the railroad is getting the sense and then wiping their memories and changing their faces to hide them from the Institute. Mm-hmm. So I saw the theory posed that it's actually the railroad that's replacing people. But it's like, mm, no, nope, the canon kind of disagrees with that pretty heavily. <laughs> so I have added something to the Ruin deck, and these are our new quests. Yes. All aboard. After asking in Diamond City, you are approached by a man calling, some, calling himself Drummer Boy. He explains that the synths are actually the work of an organization known as the Institute, and he asks for your help in freeing them. Uh, place a shield in downtown Boston. Uh, you may warn the Institute about these railroad agents and get them to deploy more synth soldiers. Contact the Institute uh, at uh, ruin locations. Uh, or you may locate synths and convince them to cast off their bonds by doing a a quest adjacent to a uh, synth. Ah, well. You are adjacent to a synth. We are adjacent to Mm -hmm. a synth. We're both adjacent to Mm -hmm. a synth. The other quest that just came out, I'm going to scooch this down so that people can see everything on stream here, is uh, Vault Rumors. Every year, new unfortunates appear out of the wasteland, claiming to have been banished from an underground bunker made before the war by a company called Vault Tech. Perhaps it's worth investigating. And there are two options for this quest. Uh, one, many of the Vault Exiles are caught by raiders. You might be able to get something off of one of them. Kill any dude. Now, killing a dude does not now trigger the main quest, but right. we've already trashed that. Uh, option two... See if you can find an old exile who will sell you information, and that is at any um, at any settlement. Spend four caps. Okay. All right. So that was your first thing, Amanda. Did I get anything for doing that? Like, did I get an influence or anything? Oh, I got loot for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, you got three caps. I got water, and I got three caps out of that, which is nice. 
Just sometimes there's loot and an influence card. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there was no influence card. Okay, that. that's fine. All right. Um, so, rules question. I. It says you can't do the same action twice. Even though these are new quests, I assume you can't do yeah, another I don't think quest yeah, that action. Really quest. You could encounter Diamond City, or you could continue wandering. Yeah. You could go try and find a dude to punch in the face. I, I, I could go try to find a dude to punch in the face. I'm going to encounter Diamond City. Okay. Several super mutants are being used as beasts of burden outside of town. Their masters are cruel, but they... Uh, but the plots of Earth and Ripe... Uh, their masters are cruel, but the plots of Earth are ripe with well-tended crops. Okay. Uh, are you a super mutant? No. You don't have option one. Uh, you may exploit the prosperity in the market or free the super mutants, which is a uh, strength or charisma check of four. I have charisma. So, Sarah, our experience is that four checks are very They're hard. Really yeah, it hard. sounds hard. Because you need to get at least one of these with two pips. Yeah. And then the other two with one pip. Yeah, it's really hard to do. What's my first option? Your first option is exploit the prosperity in the market. Okay. Let's exploit. Okay. The food surplus has left the local merchants feeling very, uh, feeling far less stingy. Shop uh, plus one, which means you can shop three times because this is a level two location, right? Yes. Oh no, this is a level four location. Oh man, so you can shop five times. So oh wow. Don't have enough caps I don't have enough caps for that. For that. Uh, gain one cap for each sold item. So you sell items not for one less than their value, but for their full value. Oh. I'm gonna sell my Addictol. Which you paid two caps for. And I get four caps for that. All right, that's one shop. You get four Done. caps? Yep, yep, give me my four caps and then I can buy a thing. <laughs> right? Yep. Look at all my caps. Um, I kinda want the Ripper. Yeah, it's good to have a weapon. It is good to have a weapon. Ooh, but that duster is really good because it's one armor and a test that uses A or L, I can add a hit. Ooh, that is good. How yeah. much does it cost? Six. No, well, you've got six, right? I think you've got exactly six. Yeah. <laughs> and no, I have eight, so. Yeah, I'm buying that duster. And then you'll equip it? Yeah, it's going right on my body. Nice. Cool. Alright, that was two moves for you. That was two. Um, I'm going to be done, because I only have two caps left, and I don't want to sell my water, because okay. it um, it's five hit points. And I don't take rad damage from it, so yeah, I'm keeping it. Okay. Can I explore this? Yes, you may. So we have Ashbury Road, so we need a critter. Up, it's a stingwing. Um, and you still have movement, or you can explore another tile. So I can go here and do an encounter. You you used explore, so you don't you can't encounter, gotcha. but you can get there and okay. encounter on your next turn if you wanted to. But if I went here, I could fight that. Um, no, because it's not aggressive. Okay. Because you used explore was one action, and to move. Would be the other action, and then fighting something that doesn't have an, a thing oh, on it. Let me go. Is an action. Got it. Yeah. Okay. I understand. So okay. you could move into that. Let's do that. Okay. There you go. Yeah. All right. New round. Dudes activate. So this dude. That's one, two, three, four, five. That's one, two, three, four. So he's gonna he's gonna move there either. No matter way. what. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And this dude, it's like one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Go there. That's fine. Doesn't really matter. When it's a tie, it doesn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So I am going 
when it's a tie, first player chooses. Yeah, so yeah. I, I did. Yeah. <laughs> they, they moved towards me both ways. What are our two public quests? May I see them? Yeah. Um, I think I want a quest adjacent to a synth. Okay. That means in the space next to one, right? I assume so, yes. Yeah, I'm going to do that, um, and I get... It moves um, the track, the star, up by one. Okay. Um, which is giving you bonus points, which is nice. Um, What's the points goal in a two-player game? Ten. Okay. First for, like, either player. So, And since we're co-oping, I want you to gain ten points. Um, three caps. I gain three caps. And we stage 20 one thir and 134, and then this gets trashed. That stays, this gets trashed. Yep. 20 and 134. Yep. Throw off your bonds, Synth! Okay. I love the choose your own adventure, adventure yeah. mechanic. It was pretty neat. Okay, so that's done. Institutionalized. From the freed synths, you learn all about the Institute's hidden underground facility where they develop the synths. The only way you are going to be able to get in there is by posing as a member. Mm. You may warn the Institute of the Infiltrators, you'll need circuitry to build a radio capable of reaching them, kill any robot, or the railroad headquarters will have everything you'd need to pose as an Institute scientist, quest at the railroad it's a perception, endurance, or uh, acrobatics check of four. That's down here. Yeah. So yeah, that's one. Right. The other option, got a lot of quests going on now. Yep. Is flesh we and ended bone. up with like tons of quests. Yeah. Point. The locals are in an uproar. A young girl named Olivia has been run out of her home for being a synth. She says that if someone could just find her sister, she could prove false these ridiculous claims that she is some kind of robot. Uh, we add number 135 to the, one of the decks, uh, and you have two options. You may uh, interrogate Olivia, there's something fishy here, interrogate Olivia at any settlement, uh, do a S uh, strength or charisma check of three, which is relatively easy. I have charisma. Mm -hmm. uh, or go looking for her missing sister. Encounter at the ruins until you hit... Uh, until you find Olivia's sister, which is the one that I'm adding right now. So when we add, um, just so you know how this works, mm -hmm. we're taking the new thing and putting it into the deck uh, within the top three cards because there's two players. Gotcha. So you take two cards for two players yeah. and the third card is so it's just shuffled in. Right. One of the top three. Cool. All right. So you've got to be here to do that. To go to the CIT ruins. Yeah. I have to go all the way up there. And if I want to go to the railroad, I have to go down here, which yeah. means we need to explore yeah. some of the more nasty tiles. Yeah, The um, in the game, the railroad it, headquarters is in the basement of Old North Church. And the church itself is, like, totally run by uh, super mutants. Yeah. Aww. And he gave, gave us bits, 100 birthday bits. Aww. And I did as a hashtag charity. If anybody's watching and you um, do bits. hashtag charity on your bits donation. Yeah. You donate to charity. Yep. Which is awesome. Goes to direct relief. Nice. For every thousand bits donated. So far, $45,000 have been raised yeah. for direct relief. That's, That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. People on Twitch are, um, at least in the streams I follow, 
I don't know, maybe generous and Two awesome. Yeah. Um, I we witnessed something really, really cool the other night. Oh yeah. Um, so I follow Twitch. a streamer named Kate, and she's awesome, and I highly recommend her stream. Um, she mostly plays uh, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds uh, these days. She's also played Overwatch in the past, but um, she's the community around Overwatch right now is kind of toxic, so she's not super thrilled with it. Um, but she plays like Stardew Valley, and yeah. she does like IRL stuff, and she baked with her parents, which was really cute. That's, that is cute. And um, they made shortbread and a bundt cake. Cool. And uh, they, she's really awesome, and the community that she has built is really awesome and really like friendly to everyone, which mm -hmm. is really cool. But she has done a few things that have unfortunately earned her. Uh, I mean, she's not a tiny streamer. She's not a giant streamer, but she definitely has a good community. She's yeah. got like, I want to say like, nineteen thousand followers and twelve hundred subs, That's something good. like that. She pretty just good. like broke twelve hundred again, um, and she killed a big name uh, player, puppet in player, a in a tournament. Yeah. Well, she played. Twice. She killed him in the warm up round. And then when the tournament started, he noticed that she was on a team. And he was like, wait, those are the people that just killed us. So on his stream, there's him noticing it. And she was like, yep, going to kill him again. Yeah. Joking, because she was like, how is that ever going to happen? Right. And then she did. There were some salty followers yeah. from him. Um, and so she's gotten a little bit of notoriety um, from there. And so she gets trolls. Sure. And trolls come in and are jerks and like will like toss slurs around until the mods get to, around to banning them. Right. And their mod, her mods are really good and are on top of it. But sometimes like you'll see it and yeah. people will be like mods and the mods will be like we've already dealt with it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so last night a guy came in and was being trolly and um, nasty about like LGBTQ stuff. And the entire chat was like. No, in fact, there are some really awesome trans streamers that you should, you guys should follow. Oh, hey, and ended up suggesting like streams to each other. And then one of the streamers came into the chat because a friend had said like people are talking about you really yeah. nicely, and someone gifted that streamer a sub to Kate's channel, Aww. and like it was just really awesome. It yeah. was a really nice thing. So, yeah, and people were like being very generous to each other. So I, the streams that I follow, people are very generous and nice and kind to each other. I want, I want our community to be that way. Yeah. So. It's a small community so far, but I like it. Yeah. Um, so I am, I'm gonna kill something. So you did one action, which was, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you quested. I mean, I can move into a space with some bugs. Mm -hmm. If they activate, they're both gonna attack me, which I really don't want. Are they both aggressive, or are either aggressive? No, but if they activate, don't yeah. they attack? If you're no, in if one was them? aggressive and the other wasn't, you could move into the space and fight the aggressive one. Right, but yeah, neither of them are. Later. Um, I'm actually gonna move... See, I can't explore either of those because I'm not in a space adjacent and I've done an action so if I move That's I can't it. then explore right. yet. Um, maybe I want to go f like try and fight a dude. Actually I'm going to do one, two. And stop there. And stop there. Okay. Well, actually if I'm going to move I might as well move to here too and that way I can explore. do that one if you want to. Yeah. I'll leave that one. All right. All right. All right. Sorry, so let's explore this. Sure thing. So we have um, Pendleton Estate. And you get a giant yeah, nasty monster. Yeah, we get something nasty. This is a Deathclaw. Oh man. Great. It's level three. And it's aggressive. And you can only hit its arms. Wow. Yeah, don't get mixed up with that. <laughs> we want to Your Duster through. Remender is not uh, protection, right? Oh, it is. It's one for me, so that's good. Yeah. But still. Yeah. I don't really want to fight that. Yeah. So in if the game, I once um, fast traveled to one of my settlements because yeah. you can in Fallout 4 you can build settlements up and like claim them as yours and they start producing stuff and right. you get to build like houses and stuff on them, which is really cool. Yeah. And uh, I had a settlement in Somerville, which isn't where Somerville actually is. It's no. like way down south. It's like where Milton is. Anyway, um, 
I was like, I'm going to go check and see. Like, I was checking on my settlements. I was like, how are these guys doing? How are these guys doing? These guys don't have enough beds. I'm going to go do this. Why are they so unhappy down in Somerville? And it will, like, it'll alert you. It'll be like, you know, Jamaica Plains under attack. Yeah. Go help. And you go in knowing that there's an attack in progress. Right. I had not been told there was an attack in progress on Somerville. And, uh... There was an attack in progress. There were two death claws. Ooh. And I fast traveled and landed right between them. Hey, hi, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Thank you. And good luck with wrapping. I need. I have wrapping that needs doing. Yeah. I, I have all the gifts. I haven't done that yet either. Yep. Andy's presents are wrapped. Not his stocking stuffers because I just bought those last night. I have to do some wrapping too. I have not wrapped Johnny's present yet. Well, but we're not seeing them until the thirty first. So. Yep. You got some time. Yep. Um. But yeah, I have to wrap my mom's present and my sister-in-law's present, and we have to wrap my dad's present. We should open that and make sure that everything's intact. It's funny, I wrapped Amanda's birthday present this morning and, and then brought I it to her, and she immediately that. opened it. I was like, you <laughs> could open it on stream. And I was like, no, no, I'm opening no, it now. No. What'd you get? He got me the Mystery Science Theater home game DVD, which was the thing that Best Brains did many years ago. Um, in 97. Okay. They aired a movie that they riffed on, mm -hmm. and you could be online adding riffs online, like submitting riffs. Right. And it would, like, it put them on, like, a scroll underneath. Yeah. And I, m I might have participated Ooh. in this. 97 was 20 years ago. They did two broadcasts, and each one had a God, different group of riffs. Years ago. I know, right? Um, and that was, like, my senior year of high school, and I was heavily involved in the Mystery Science Theater like online community. Um, yeah, I remember it was largely did, AOL based. Yeah, you did an AOL riff of the Bad Captain America movie. Yes, we did. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever watched the Bad Captain? No. I know it exists, but I've so never, bad. I never actually Sad. watched it. He, he gets car sick. Oh. He faints Multiple being times he feigns being car sick to trick people into letting him out of the car to go That's like kind of do hilarious. something. It's so bad. That's kind of hilarious. I want to do a so thing here, bad. just quickly. The uh, way that the camera above us is angled, this is just slightly weird, so I'm going to just... There. There we go. That's a little better. Yeah, still working on the whole overhead camera thing. Yeah. That's our next on our list. It's on the list. We get little more inch subscribers. Little inch by inch is how this works. Um, Mighty Jack. That's a great one. That's a <sighs> Sandy Frank. Mighty Jack. Um, yeah. yeah, I I was very, very, very heavily involved in the Mystery Science Theater community on America Online, um, which was like um, message boards and chat rooms and a whole community of people. We had a mini convention in Philly when the show ended. Um, like, so one of the guys who was in the group was um, Chris Cornell. And Chris Cornell uh, goes by M. Sampo online. He runs, I believe he currently runs Satellite News. Yeah. Um, which is the official fan site. And he, um, because he was doing reviews of the episodes and like recaps, yeah. he got advanced copies of things. So we were able to watch Danger Diabolic like the day it came out, but we were able to do it as a group in a hotel room. That was really awesome. That's so we got like a intern we got like, Danger Diabolic. He, he did. He opened the door. doors, <laughs> <laughs> um, which was very No, it wasn't Danger Diabolic. He did. Oh. Um, it was, it was uh, um, what was it? No, 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 no. It's uh, the first episode of the season. Oh, okay. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Blood... No, 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 no. Uh, Soul Taker. Oh, Soul Taker. Because that's the one where Joel comes onto the ship. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And he opened the doors for Joel to be there when the door opened, so he yeah. got to, like, sit next to Joel's calves. <laughs> I remember anyway. him talking about this, because I got simple. to see Soul Taker before it aired. Um, but we got like a hotel conference room yeah. and basically just like, there were like 30 of us just chilling in this hotel room making fun of bad movies. Yeah. We watched, um, uh, Gappa the Triphibian Monster. So bad. So bad. We watched, uh, Billy the Kid vs. Dracula. We had a bunch of educational shorts that we made fun of. It was an awesome time. It was right. a super fun time. Patrick, we, I love the new Netflix series. I think the new Netflix series Season 11 fun. was really solid. I'm looking forward to season 12. I, I, the, um, um, Hampton Yount and Baron Vaughn, I, are 
totally growing on me as the bots. That yeah. I, the first episode, I was like, oh, it's different, different, <laughs> different's hard. Yeah. And then I'm like, wait, come on, what's what's wrong with new voices? New voices are fun. They change the bowling pin. It's cool. Um, and I really, I really like Baron Vaughn. He's very sharp. Um, yeah. I, I don't follow uh, Hampton Young, but I do follow Baron Vaughn. Baron Vaughn is very, very sharp. I like him. Um, and I love Cynthia, the clone of, yes. um, of Mrs. F. Fantastic. And, some of the and initiating are hug. Right my favorites. Yeah. We were watching Avalanche uh, is so the Christmas good. that almost wasn't just the other day because it's that time of year. Christmas that, because legal battles over property is how you want to celebrate Christmas. That's funny. I should watch more of those. They're really good. Yeah. Um, Avalanche is definitely the best. Um, also kind of seasonal. You know, it's winter. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I was a big Mystery Science Theater fan, so it's entirely possible that if this was something that this group got together to, like, participate in, that I was part of it. could be on it. But it was also my senior year of high school, and I was busy. Yeah. It was my senior year. I was, I might have been working if it was the summer afterwards, because I worked that whole summer. Um, I was working at Blockbuster. I was working nights. Um, and it's also possible that, like, I was working on finals, or I was doing plays. I was, I was a theater geek in high school, so I did, like, all the tech stuff for theater, so I might have been, like, backstage. I don't know. So we'll have to watch we'll and see if I see my old username yeah. pop up. <laughs> I, the band is sort of, it's filler to me. Like, I, I think they're fine. Um, I, I like that they kept the idea of there being uh, commercial breaks. Because you do need breaks in these movies. Uh, I'm glad that they give you a little breather. Yeah. Um, well, the band is pretty the much, base. they replaced Jerry and Sylvia, the mole people. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't mind them. Um, but I really like the new voices. I really like Jonah. I the really like Felicia really Day um, yeah. and Patton Oswalt. I yeah. think they're fantastic. Their whole dynamic is really fun. We did get to see uh, MSG live. Yes. That was so that fun. Was Sarah was with us. That was so fun. We went to see uh, the Watch Out for Snakes tour, and it was so good. Yeah. And I think it was like their inaugural show. That was like their too. It was their show. first show. Yeah. It was the one in Boston, um, which was fantastic. That was really good. Yeah, it was. Are they doing a tour again? I thought I heard something about that. I, I think see that. they might yeah. be, uh, but I don't think they have anything like solid any yet. yet. They've said that they want to tour again. Yeah. But yeah. Um, no, I, they definitely have another season coming. Yep. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to see the, uh, the horrible, horrible movies they come up with. That's, yeah. That's the, that's the <laughs> nightmare. Um, was, what does she say every single time? The nightmare. The nightmare fueled world. Nightmare fueled world of. Yeah. So it's Sarah's turn? My turn. I explored yes. this. Yep. And now I can move two. Yeah. Yes. Keep in mind that the red is difficult terrain. It right. takes two movements to move through. And you now don't I want to go... get anywhere near that death Can wall. I go here and then go here? Yes. I could do that. I just can't stop someplace over here. You So you can go here and stay there, but then if he activates, he's going to come right at right you at and me. attack you. Right. Um, and if you go, like, you've explored, so you only have one movement. Mm -hmm. So you could go here and then here, or you could go here and then here. Well, that's Either true, way, too. Yeah, 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 it doesn't same, matter. Same difference. You could go here and then here. And yeah. this isn't aggressive, so it's not going to attack you when you move in. That's true, too. All right, so we'll go. Ooh, I, you know. Right here. Oh, they have. Asks, Rift okay. Track or Cinematic Titanic? So I have, I have thoughts on this, because they're very different things to me. Because Rift Tracks does like big titles yeah even when they do like nonsense stuff when they do bad big titles they do big title yeah. movies like they did twilight and stuff still wasn't um, watchable they did star wars i mean i'm not gonna watch it but i tried um, still wasn't watchable um they did the room i love the rift track shorts the yeah. rift track shorts are so good because i've always loved the shorts for mm. mystery science theater um but the Rift Track shorts, like how to arrange a room, so good. And as the daughter of a teacher who used to go in with her mother and help her set up her classroom, there being an entire short subject about how to set up a classroom is like, so good. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Um, and I, lo I love that they do big titles, but it's a very different feel to it. Cinematic Titanic had the whole like, it had a bigger crew. 
I like that Rift Tracks has a very different crew sometimes, that you get very different people doing stuff. Um, the Apple is probably one of the best things I've seen. The Mystery Science Theater, like anyone from Mystery Science Theater do, and if you haven't seen the Apple. No, I haven't. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> so Hilariously you know, awful. You know Jesus Christ Superstar? Yes. What if you made a musical sequel about the Garden of Eden? Okay. In the 80s. Uh-huh. But set in the 90s. In the dystopian future. In the future dystopian of the 90s. future of the 90s. Okay. Where music competitions are rated by people's heartbeats. So, like, how they have an emotional reaction. Mm -hmm. And a music act is taken, it takes over the world. A music act called BIM mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. takes over the world with the song Hey, Hey, Hey. Bim's on the way. Oh my god. And you have to wear your Bim mark. You have to wear your holographic star, uh, triangle sticker yeah. somewhere on your face so that they know that you follow Bim. Right. And there are Bim breaks where everyone has to dance to the Bim song. Okay. And there's a whole, it, and it's like, it's the garden. Of, uh, yeah. That sounds awful. Yeah. It's so yeah. bad. And it was choreographed by, um, what's his face? Who does So You Think You Can Dance? Oh. Nigel. Nigel. Yeah. yeah. Nigel Lithgow. Yeah. It was choreographed by him. That's really funny. There's, Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, they're very, very different. Because Cinematic Titanic then has, like, more of the core crew together all the time. I think Cinematic Titanic and is it has more, more faithful to the lore. original spirit of Mystery Science Theater. Yeah. But they don't have anywhere near the sheer volume right. of riff tracks. Yeah. The there quality so of each one of them is really good. Um, and Andy and I have seen the Cinematic Titanic crew twice live. Yeah. Yeah. And they were really good live. Yeah. Their live show, the Cinematic Titanic live show, is was awesome. I'm very disappointed that Doll Squad was never recorded and we'll never get to see really it again. Really sad about that, because Doll Squad have the memories. Was... I did make the mistake of de deciding that we needed tickets to Cinematic Titanic and being like, it's fine if we go see Rattlers. Oh, man. I'm afraid of snakes. Oh. I actually have a snake, snake phobia, like legit wake up in like sweat drenched nightmares, like phobia of snakes, like find it hard to handle books about snakes at work phobia. Um, yeah, we saw Rattlers. We sat in the front row, like we sat at one of the tables at the front. Yeah. They come out of a faucet in a bathtub. That sounds awful though, like even without a snake phobia that would freak me out. <laughs> Yeah, no thank you. So yeah, um, so I don't know, I don't really, it's sort of like a Mike or Joel or Jonah question for me. I, I don't, there's no like, for me, yeah. I see value in both of them. It sort of depends on what you're in the mood for. Yeah. You want to watch a bad big title movie and watch people make fun of it? You go for Rift Tracks. You want to watch some obscure piece of dreck and see it <laughs> ripped apart um, with some lore to it? Then you watch Cinematic Titanic. Put the annotated disc in time too. Yep. Um, so yeah. All right. Is it new new round? Yes. Yes. New something round. is going to happen. All right. So we don't have any railroad out, but uh, that death claw. It's moving towards you. It is. It is yep. moving towards us. So we want to get away from that thing. It's we in don't that difficult that. terrain. We don't want that. Ick. All right. See, this is why the, the reds are more difficult. Harder, yeah. Oh, I haven't seen The Happening, the Rift Tracks, The Happening. Let's I'm going to have out. to check that out. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to check. It's okay, Patrick. I'm glad that you're in the chat and that you're chatting with us. It makes this whole thing fun. Yeah. Um, that was why I wanted to stream, is to be able to chat with yeah, you could and have, have just friends. sat around yep. and played games. Yeah, I could have just yeah. sat here and painted or played games with Sarah, yeah, but she turned the camera on so that we could talk to people, have folks watching, and interact. Um, so, all right, I I really want to get down to here, to to there. Yeah, I'm gonna explore this space. All right. Well, we get Let's another robot. Okay, robots. It's not one. Yep. But it's radiation area, and that's fine because I can you move through radiation. radiation. Yep. So protractron. Yeah, I actually heal when I take rad damage. That's which cool. Is, yeah. 
Um, so yeah, that's a Protectron. It's not aggressive. What does this little thing mean? It has a shield, so it would take... It says it's a level 2, so you get 2 experience for beating it, but it actually takes 3 hits. Gotcha. Um, so I'm going to move 2 and go to the Robco factory. Okay. And... That's your... You explored and moved. Mm -hmm. Okay. And hope that that, uh... Well, I was going to say hope that that super mutant brute doesn't come at me. Oh, gracious. Yeah. It, it can't get to you, can it? It doesn't have a gun or anything? No, it's but aggressive. it is aggressive, so I'm going to have to deal with it. Be aggressive. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Sarah. Okay. So I have this tire iron. Uh-huh. So ha when I fight, does this give me extra... So you can, can exhaust, exhaust it this. by tapping it sideways to get an extra like roll. Okay. If you have strength, you can get an extra roll without exhausting it. Gotcha. Right. So like if I wanted to try to fight this... You would have to hit it twice on the arms and then a third time on the arms okay. in that's order so to get hard. it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's really hard. Thank goodness it's not. You really aggressive. need something that gets you. You extra could come hits. over and yeah. like, you could do like one two. Shall and we fight review the what the quests are? Oh yeah, what are the quests? Okay, so uh, institutionalized, kill any robot, or go to the railroad and do a perception endurance or so that's what I'm trying uh, to do. Acrobatics yeah. check. Uh, vault rumors, kill any human, or go to any uh, settlement and spend four caps. You do have a lot of caps. You do have a lot of caps. Yeah. Uh, or flesh and bone, go to any settlement and do a strength and charisma check of three, or go to any ruin and encounter until you find Olivia's sister. Okay. So I can move here and then do... Um, spend four caps. Spend four caps and do that. Do that, yes. that quest. Yep. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So vault rumors. Four caps. Spend. You get a uh, a thumbs up, Amanda. If you want to keep. Oh, I get a thumbs up. Yeah, you get a an influence. So card. what did you get? Uh, managing it. Um, so plus thumbs up if you have three or more drug items. I don't. Uh, or plus thumbs up if you are also well rested. Uh, and I stage 68. And do I move because I have, because I got one of these? Does this, my no. go up? No, not yet. No, it's not experience. Okay. Yeah. How do we get experience again? Uh, you, by killing, it, by things, killing things. Killing things. And sometimes quests will give you experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, signs okay. of life. The raiders had one of the vault dwellers wrist-mounted computers on them. With this, you should be able to contact the people on the inside of the vault or interact with its computer. You have two options. Either uh, there are some ex uh, supposed exiles from the vaults around town. One of them might be able to show you how to use the Pip-Boy. Uh, do a intelligence or luck check of four at any settlement. or the pit boy should be able to interface directly with the vault entrance, but you'll need an extra uh, set of hands there. At vault 84, which is on one of the red locations, I believe. No, it might be one of the green 84 is ones. one of the greens. Yeah, um, if you go to vault 84... There's another one that's in the red. ...with a companion, then you can solve that quest so there. So companions are these guys. They're the little dude uh -huh. symbol. You could buy them. And you can get them, actually, if you were to shop, you would get the load lifter as a companion because you have intelligence. That's oh. how you recruit companions, okay. is having the stat that they want. Um, and for the, if you have the load lifter with you, during a test or fight that uses S, exhaust him to add one hit. And while the load lifter is equipped, you may keep two additional cards in your inventory. Ooh. If you have five or more cards in your inventory, keep this companion when it unexhausts. Okay. So if you're carrying extra stuff, you like when you unexhaust it by camping, you get to keep it. That's cool. It sticks around. You make use of it. So yeah. Nice. So Sarah, you've already moved. I moved and, and then did the quest. But you have one more movement point. To I spend, do. Right. Yeah. Okay. So then. So we need to we need to explore the one of those other two green tiles for that. To find vault eighty four. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So let's go this way. Okay. Okay. Amanda. Something happens. Yeah, something happens. 
dudes and monsters. All right, so Bounty Hunter's gonna move this way, the looter's gonna move this way, and this thing is going to <laughs> move towards me. Yeah. You've got a death claw yeah, almost I, on you. I do, I do. Boy, I need this to is not tough. be there anymore. Um, fortunately, that's the only thing that's moving. And I am going to run away! <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go one, two up in here. Ooh, wow, yeah, those are connected. That, yeah, that yep. does yeah. connect. Yeah, so. that's nice. Yeah, because he can only move one space at a time. Is that robot aggressive that you just moved in with? No, it's not. Okay. It has a distance weapon, so if it had activated uh, while I was next to it, I would have gotten hit. But now I'm in the space with it, which means um, it can't do that. Right. Um, I could try to attack it. Ooh, Patrick says that he's hoping to get the thing infection at Outpost 31 to the table. Uh, that sounds awesome. Yeah, Nerd, it looks Nerd's good. Nerd's Year's Eve sounds like a good holiday. That does sound good. We should think about doing that sometime. We should. We should. Maybe next year. Yeah. Our friend Russell, I don't, did you guys meet Russell? I don't think you've met Russell yet. I don't, I don't so. recall. Yeah, because he's come to a couple of Jen's game days. Um, Russell is having a New Year's Eve party, which will probably be pretty nerdy, but I'm not sure how, like, it's board game nerdy or not. Yeah. But I saw that, uh, Chase had talked about doing all, ga all day, all day gaming on New Year's Day up in cool. Saugus. Yeah. yeah, I saw something so about that. I might go yeah. to that. Yeah. We'll see. I might also spend on it at Jen's place. New Year's Day, so. I'm meeting my family to play pinball in Cambridge. So. Yeah, well, that's cute. Yeah. That's the yeah. plan. Because Andy's birthday is just after that. So. Yeah. That's cute. Alrighty. Okay. So right, none so of these. So Amanda, you moved. Do, oh. Are you going to do anything else? Well, I can attack that Mr. Gutsy if I oh, want. You could do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attack it. I mean, or I could keep moving. Yeah. I can't move into. I can just go to the CIT ruins. I don't have to do anything there. Yeah. It just gets me <clears throat> gets me that much <coughs> closer. Does that further Mr. Away. Gutsy have a ranged weapon? <coughs> yeah. yeah. So if it activates when you're next to it, it shoots you and automatically gets a hit. Yeah. Although that hit is negated by your armor. Yeah, it is. So I'm I'm gonna keep moving and to get that much further away from the death claw. I really don't like death claws. So I was um I was exploring down in one of the areas of the map, um, because I needed I was doing a quest. There's a quest in the game, the video game where you have to visit police stations in mm -hmm. different parts. And um, so you have to like go to all these different towns and stuff all over the damn map. And I was in this one area and I was like, oh, I know there's a death claw roaming the street, oh, the main it. street in this yeah. area, but I'm really sneaky, I'm stealthy. This th My character build this time is built around being stealthy. I'm gonna sneak my way in and I'll just do what I did last time I did this quest. I'll dive into the water when I'm done because the police station ruin yeah. overlooks a lake. Yeah. And I took a perk, I took the Aqua Girl perk that lets you like not take rad damage from mm -hmm. being in the water. So I was like, I'll just jump, when the yeah. death claw roars, cause it'll, eventually I'll trigger it. Right. I'll just dive into the water cause the death claws don't go into the water. Sure. So I'll just dive in and swim away and yeah. it'll be fine. Seems logical. So I was like, that's what I'll do. It'll be cool. So I'm approaching it from like, the west. I was like, I'll go along the hills here and then I'll be able to just come down the hill, cross the street and go right to the thing and I won't have to encounter the death claw until like I've got what I need. Two death claws in the hills. And then another one, so those guys come at me and I'm like, okay, gotta mm -hmm. deal with that. So I killed both of those. And then there was another death claw fighting a Yaogwai, which is basically like an irradiated bald bear. Yeah. And they're fighting. And I'm like, okay, both of those are terrifying. And then there was like another death claw in the town. And then another one. I was like, there are like five death claws around here. And a Yaogwai. How even did all of those spawn in like one place? They're like just next to each yeah. other in spawning points. And they all just triggered randomly. Did you die? No, I didn't. That's good. No, I did exactly what I meant to do. Uh -huh. I killed all the death claws. Except for the one roaming the town, got into the police station, got the recording I needed, dove into the water, and swam away <laughs> as planned. But it was terrifying. That does like, seem, that's yeah. so big. Yes. 
And they get all up in your face, too. Right. They, like, grab you and they're like, ah! <laughs> and they're like, ah! All right, so, all yeah, right. I'm as far away from it as I can get right yeah. now. So. so now it's my turn. Yes. Um, so neither one of these are aggressive. What does the right. radiation thing mean? If it hits you, you take a rad damage okay. for each, like, hit it gets on you. Okay. So I want to go here, mm -hmm. and I want to fight one of these. All right. Um... You need to get two hits on the Stingwing. Uh-huh. You only need to get one hit on the Red Roach. Okay. Um, both of them have two possible hit places. Yeah. So, so you could go either way. Not bad. Let's do the one next to me. Does one of them sure. have loot? Uh, no, neither of them have loot, but the Stingwing is a level two, so that's going to give you two experience for if you beat it. Yeah. yeah. She forgot. Nice. Yeah. Andy kept trying to skip my turn last night. Oh, man, that was bad. All right, what do we got? Well, you got two chest hits, so you kill it, and it, and it only gets on one you. hit on you, so you take two damage. Two damage? Yep. So this goes this way, right? Right. But you killed it! Yay! Yay. Which means you now go up to the A. Alright, so pass me that. To the I? To the A. To the A? Because you go one, two. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we shuffle this up, and a new bug appears in the nearest bug space. Uh, that stingwing came out on this space. Okay, so... A new one it is comes out face down in that right space. Where you are. Yeah. yeah. So take a bug from the top, and it goes face down. So we don't know what it is. Until when it, it activates, activates, it's yeah. going to flip over. Because the rad roach came from up here. But it doesn't matter where they came from. It just appears just on the nearest, nearest bug Where the nearest space. one is. Well, yeah. it's the one she's standing on. Yeah, so. right. right. It's the nearest one. So because I moved and then chose to attack, I'm done. You could. Did you move two spaces or just one, one? space? So you could move back into this space, or you could keep going into either of these spaces. Okay, let's go, um... Let's if you go, go to the farm, then you can encounter yeah. it next turn right yeah. away. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, cool. Something's gonna happen now. Alright. Uh, Super Mutant. Because there's no railroad out. So the Super Mutant and the Death Claw are apparently just gonna, like, chill yeah, together. Yeah, there's, like, a whole bunch of folks in that space. So. Yeah. Well, party. It's a little badass party. Actually, Amanda, I feel like the space on the right is nearer to you. It might be. Uh, yeah, you have fewer right. hit points, so it's moving towards yeah. the person with the fewest hit points. Is that the rule? Yeah. If, if it's, it's a not tie, a tie. Yeah. Anyways. Anyhow. Alright. I am going to look at that space. I'm going to explore here. There's the red rocket station. Okay. And, and a dude. There's a guy. Okay. So if you want to put I'm a guy in there. Top dude tile. That is a raider scum. He has a ranged weapon and a shield. Hmm. Interesting. So I am going to move into the space with him so that if he activates, he doesn't get a free hit on me. Okay. And I'll just end my turn now. All right. Sarah's turn. I want to do an encounter. Excellent. Okay. Encounter that we? trailer space. The it's settlement. The settlement? Okay. There's a small gathering around various uh, the various traders and mercenaries here. You shoulder your way through the other tr wastelanders to get a look at the goods. You may either go shopping as normal, try to steal an item from a display, which is a acrobatics and luck check of four, or look for better deals than these. I want to look for better deals than these. Okay. Nothing that's on offer is very appealing. Choose and discard cards from the shop equal to the level of the space you're on, which is a level two space or a level one space? Two. Okay, so you can take up to two items that are currently in the shop and discard them, uh, draw replacements, and then shop once. I think you want that load lifter regardless. You can just take it, yeah. Because it costs nothing, you just get to refer it. Yeah. But you're still choosing and discarding two, two other items. Up to two? Uh, it must be two. Okay. It doesn't have a May there, so choose and discard cards from the shop equal to the settlement level. Okay. I'm going to discard the Rataway and the combat armor. Okay. They go in the bottom? No, they go in the discard, discard. pile. Oh. Yeah. 
And then we draw two more? Yep. yep. So we got a sim pack and a sniper rifle. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. That's sniper rifle. But you can only shop once. Yeah, so. I only have two dollars. So you could grab that load book for yeah. free. So let's do that. You have a companion now. I have a companion. He goes over here with the little person. Yep. And another stim pack came out to replace that. Okay. Okay. Um, do I still get to move? Yes. You, that yeah. was your encounter. Yeah. You started on that space, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you yeah. moved there after fighting a bug. Okay. Can we go to um, that, whatever that settlement space is? Super Duper Mart? Yeah, one. Yeah, sure. Okay. And something happens. Yep. All right, dudes, activate. So he's going to come towards you. He's going to attack me eventually. Um, he's also going to come towards you. Yeah, sighting. Um, super mutants. He's coming towards me. Yeah. Um, and robots. He's going to come towards me. He's going to come towards me. Like everybody knows. That was a lot of motion. <laughs> yeah, that was All a lot right, of now motion. Fight the guy, Amanda. All right, so I'm gonna fight this uh, raider scum. He does not get an automatic. He doesn't get an automatic hit, hit but I do need to get two hits on him because he has um, a shield. But so you've got head a shield as well. Yeah, I do. Well, that's head. Do you have anything that gives you a reroll? What's your duster give you? During a test that uses A or L, I add a hit. Yeah. Yeah. So, I got one hit, um, which. Does not. So yeah, he got one hit on me, so that's negated. So neither of us do anything to each other. Okay. Basically, just firing at each other. Is he cowardly? Nope. Nope. Okay. He's gonna stick around. All right. That isn't the worst thing, though. No, like that wasn't horrible. Yeah. All right. So, I could attack him. You could. You could absolutely do that. I'm gonna attack him. Okay. Let's see if I can actually get a hit on him. I see. Yep. That's two chests and a head. You so hit him three times. You only needed to hit him twice. And um, he hit you. He back. got me one hit, but, but your armor mm -hmm. my armor up. takes care of nice. that. Nice. Um, that armor is that duster is nice. Yeah. I mean, um, they cost eight. No, it costs six. Oh, it costs six. That's yeah, not bad at all. Yeah. Okay. That's not bad. So I get so one experience, so I go up to my C. Mm -hmm. He goes away, and a new dude comes out. Yep, so we shuffle him into the dude pile. So he could come right back up. Yeah, and the new dude comes out on the nearest uh, duder space. Space where down. Is the nearest, yes, yeah, space down. Where's she standing? Oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. Yep. There you go. Okay. I like this game. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah. Uh, do we have Even a kill not knowing a guy the lore quest for it? What was uh, that? I'm looking to see if there's any kill a guy quests. No, there's a kill a robot quest, but yeah. no yeah. kill a guy quests right now. Yeah. I'm going to go try to explore that last frame. Right? Because that's the yeah. Amanda well, still has movement left. Yes. Oh, I know. But like, just so she knows where I'm, what you my plan is. You explore that, that red area. Mm -hmm. Right? You're next to it? Yeah. What? I could explore yeah. that, yeah. But it could bring out another thing. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Because if one of us oh, ends up with that, um, a dude. That's not bad at all. No, no. that's okay. It's it? Raider Scum. Oh, man. No, that's easy. Yeah. That's what I just killed. Is that the radio tower? What is that? Location? It's the tower. The tower. It's a named location that actually shows up in the, um, the capital wastes, and I think it's meant to be ten penny. Oh, okay. Anyway, so that's both of your motion, motions. Yeah. Um, so in Fallout Three, um, one of the first places that you end up going after you find Megaton, which is a crater with an unexploded atomic bomb in the bottom of it. Uh huh. Um, hence Megaton. Um, is Tenpenny Tower, which is a hotel that has been converted into a settlement with walls around it, run by Mr. Tenpenny. Okay. And he's kind of an ass, and he likes to, like, sniper people from his tower, because he's an ass. Um, and the people there are all, like, snobby and obnoxious and yeah. rude. Um, and they're very, very, like, nasty to ghouls. Even, like, good ghouls that, like, are people. Right. Um, 
they're very prejudiced against them. And the options that you have are you can go and help the ghouls infiltrate the tower and get in, and eventually they kill all the people in it when the people try to kill them. Okay. Um, and they give you a ghoul mask that you can wear, and then ghouls don't attack you. Like, even feral ones don't attack you. Because you're hiding. Because you're hiding as a ghoul. I like that. That's um, cute. And the ghouls all talk like this. Hey, Smootskin, how's it going? <laughs> hey, you want, you want to um, uh, try some chems? Um, and uh, I love the ghouls. They're really funny. Um, and the other thing you can do is Tenpenny will try to get you to explode the bomb in Megaton. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, blow up the town. Blow up the town. Alright. I can never do that. I can never bring myself to do it. Blow up town? I did yeah. it to get the achievement and then load it back to a previous yeah. game. When you hadn't done it? Yeah. Aww. It's so mean. There, look, that that's where mean. Moira is. I yeah. guess she, she turns into a ghoul, so she she's survives. fine. Right. Yeah. But like... Right. Oh, I like the sheriff there. Like, I like everyone It's real hard there. for me to be mean in games. I can't it really do is. it. it yeah. Really is. It's I rough. used to be, like, I wanted to get every achievement I could possibly get in some games. Yeah, with morality uh, systems, I can't do I can't. evil enough yeah. to, like, yeah. I, like, get yeah. some of those. And I can play evil characters, but when I'm playing a video game, I just can't bring myself to do it. Yeah. Yeah. No, the things that you have to end up doing are just... Yep. Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I want to do an encounter. Ooh, yes, ruins, Andy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is Flesh and Bone still out? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes. Uh, a her. couple of landmarks catch your eye as you approach the area. This is the place where that girl Olivia said her sister was last seen. Mm. Looks dangerous, but you could go poking around to see if there's any truth to it. You may either look for Olivia's sister, or ignore it and search for loot. Do a perception check of three. Let's look for her sister. You see a body of a girl lying under an overhang. Oh no. When you turn it over, you see that the body doesn't have a familiar resemblance to Olivia. It is Olivia! <gasps> the girl you spoke with was a synth who had replaced her. Suddenly, you see movement. She sent you here. It's a trap! <laughs> so we complete the flesh and bone quest. Uh, so you get another thumbs up. Nice. And we stage number 136. Yeah. What did you get? Uh, for each space with a shield, each space a shield has advanced farther than a star, and then at the start of your mm. turn, you reveal those. That's fine. So that's what I have. Yeah. But we're going with. I mean, we've already started going with railroad. Yeah. But it gets you another victory point. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, so we stage 136 and yeah. trash this. Uh, then, uh, draw and fight a bug. Oh, good. Okay. So this is a draw and fight, so it's not going to stay on the map regardless yeah. of what happens. But you are fighting a rad scorpion, which is a cowardly uh, and aggressive monster. Okay. Which, when you draw and fight, the aggressive doesn't really mean anything. Yeah. Yeah. Reach the dice. You can. Okay. So I need uh, legs and arms. Legs and arms. And just one. Yep. I did it. Yep. Yay. You definitely did it. I see two arms. But and it, it got hit me two hits twice. on you. Each one is one point of damage, so you take two damage. Okay. And then my experience goes up? Yep. Your experience goes up one. So it means it wraps around to the bottom of the experience track. Here. You and gain I, a level. And I get so you draw two yay. tiles. And pick one. Pick one. And pick one. If you now, pick one that is the same as one you already have, then uh -huh. you, get you get a perk. Perk instead, which is a thing you can discard to do something kind of OP. Yeah, the perks are super powerful. P is perception. Uh -huh. And E is endurance. endurance. I think I want perception. Excellent. All right. All right. One okay. more thing. New quest comes out. Mm -hmm. Duped. It turns out that the people were right. Olivia had been replaced by a murderous sin. They say that she was last seen passing through Ashbury neighborhood on her way out into the wasteland. Time to track her down. Well, we have Ashbury Road out. Yeah, That's so down you can here. ask around Ashbury and try to talk to her, which is go to Ashbury Road and do an endurance and charisma check of four, or track her through the wasteland and take her out. Go to the raider camp, draw and fight a dude. Raider camp. Okay. All right, so 
made some progress on that. What are the outcomes on that? Can I see the card? Sure. I just want to see what it does for us. So... If you fight her, you get Neither her. of them play with that, but if we fight her... Um, if you go to Ashbury Road, you gain experience, but if you go to the Raider camp, um, you get a uh, influence card. Okay. So. Well, I'm headed that way anyway, so I can move too because I was sort of on that way. Yeah. So put me on that top. That's that one. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Now it's time to flip the next card, right? Yep. Oof. Okay. So these guys are moving. Um, you want to count the spaces from that one that was outside of Diamond City? Which of you is it closer to? No, the one that was in Diamond, outside Diamond City. So it started there. there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's a tie. It goes yeah. towards the lower hit point one, which it's is you. Good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What else was? I know what I'm about. Yeah. Um. You just did it so fast. I was like, she's just yeah. instinct. She knew. That's coming towards me. Yeah. <laughs> um. And robots. So he actually is going to fire at me. Right? Yep. He's coming towards me. And he just fires at me without moving. Right? Yep, so he automatically gets one hit on you, which is which negated, is by, negated your arm. by that. Right. So, yeah. That's really handy. It's really nice. Yeah. All right. So roll for the attack with that robot. Oh, is that a robot in the upper? No, that's a no, raider. This one? Okay. Um, do I roll? Because he doesn't attack. He's like attacking me from a distance. Yes, you do roll. Oh, it, okay. It's still a combat. He just automatically gets a hit on you. And she gets to fight anyway? Yes. Well, I can only hit his arms, and I only got one hit on arms, and he got two hits on me. And he is level... Two. Yeah. So you take four to eight. Ouch. Yeah. You Not need far. to get through some rad. Yeah, I do. Heal yourself up. Oh, you can do that. She's yeah. a ghoul, so mm -hmm. she heals when she goes into the radio. Well, oh, no, but I mean, I meant yeah, oh, there's right like now. plenty of rad. There's, there's a rad right there. Um, so I'm going to do that. Heal up a point. You can get one for every time you walk through it. But it doesn't count if, I'm, if I start in it. Yeah. I it's have to move into, into it. When you, into it. When you move into it, that you get the, the stuff. Um, I'm going to go to the Red Rocket Station and encounter it. Okay. I need a ruin. It is a settlement or a ruin? Ruin. Ruin. Uh, is all aboard staged? No, all aboard is gone. So that's. Skip that. You hear nothing but the sound of your own footsteps as you walk through the ruins. It's calm and quiet. You may hack into an old register, which is an intelligence check of three, yep. or search for useful equipment, which is a perception and luck check of four. Now your duster helps with one of these, or no? A uh, test that uses A or L, add one hit, and I have perception, so I get two re-rolls for the perception and luck. You get two re-rolls? I have perception. That's one re-roll. That's not a re-roll, that's just Oh, a add one hit. Yeah. yeah. But that means that I get a bonus for yeah. for two different things for this. So, so probably searching for useful Yeah, equipment. I'm searching for useful equipment. Go for it. So that's two. What was the... It's a four, so you've got four. three. You've got I get three, and I'm going to re-roll this. Okay. Yep, got it. Got it. Success. You find some strange markings near the back of the building. They appear to be pointing to some kind of cash. You get two XP. Excellent, nice. We trash this and we add card number one. And I get to pick an E or an A. Hmm. I'm gonna go with endurance. Okay. That was nice. Yeah. That was very nice. So that was move and encounter? Yes. You moved to yeah. and encountered. Okay, Sarah. Can, Can I go, go into the Raider? Yeah. Camp? And I want to do this, this one. All right. Draw so by the dude. Yeah, let's go after Olivia. It is a Raider Psycho. 
Okay, level two, aggressive. Oh, this should go back in the bug. Oh yeah, I killed that it one. It doesn't matter. Uh, so it's Raider two, uh, level two, so you need to get two hits, body and legs. Legs, head, body. Yes. And they got two hits on me. So you take four damage. You killed it, so you get two experience points, or no. Yes, you get two experience because it's level two. So it's going to go to the eye. Yes. And you get a loot. Thanks. Um, a loot is? The loot deck has a treasure, like a bag of loot yeah, on it. It's this. Oh, yeah. So Sarah, I have some first aid. Uh-huh. Um, if we, if you camp near me or if I camp near you, um, we can trade. Okay. So when a survivor performs a camp action, he or she may do all of the following in any order. Recover three hit points, unexhaust all of his or her exhausted cards, gain the well-rested trait, and trade with any other survivors in his or her space or an adjacent space. Okay. So we can do each other. Um, when survivors trade, they can exchange any number of items, companions, agendas, and camps. So you can exchange com agendas as well. Mm -hmm. Um, which doesn't really matter for us, but... Right. Um, both parties must agree to the trade. Promises may also be traded, but they are not binding. Ooh. Other game elements such as traits, special tokens, perks, and the ghoul's starting card cannot be traded. Agenda cards involved in a trade can be shown to the other survivor before a trade. A survivor cannot perform this, the camp action while in the same space as a face-up enemy. Um, all exhausted cards must be unexhausted, and yeah, that's it. So yeah. Okay. So yeah, the, if the you rest need, of perk is super helpful. yeah, if if we can get close to each other within a space of each other, we can try and do that. Right. Yeah, I suspect Sarah is exploring that green space. That's where I was gonna go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you draw, you you drew and fought, you gained your XP, you completed this quest, yep. so you get another thumbs up. Uh -huh. This is a payday. Um, if I have kind of caps, I don't. You get plus one or plus two if you have sixteen or more. I don't have any plus But you have a, a a bump anyway. Yeah. And the loot I got is an astoundingly awesome tales magazine. Nice. Uh, when you camp, if you do not have L, you may discard this card to gain two XP. So I would recommend camping relatively soon because I held on to that the last time I played yeah. and, got luck. and I drew two L tokens Amanda, the next time I went right up now? and no I don't so worst case scenario you can always trade, trade it yeah. to her and she yeah. can use yeah. it I like doing this co-op this is so yeah, much I like more co relaxing yeah. than battling yeah. to see who can get the alright so a uh, quick question yeah how many Victory points is Sarah up to now. I only have one. What do you have? Is it the little number on the bottom? No. no. Oh, so okay. each one counts as one point, and okay. then you get bonus points for additional conditions that you've met on the card. So you have four base right now. Four, and then I get two more for each on the star card. Mm -hmm. So it's four, five, six. And then another one for this too? No, so because that's this is the step the opposite. It's the shield. Oh, it's a shield. Yeah. Sorry. So that's it so far. Okay. What's the uh, drug manage items, these drugs? But you need drug three. items or well or if I'm well rested and I don't have it, either one of those things. Okay. Yet. So right now you have four, five, six? Yes. Out of ten. So yeah. you need four more. Okay. Making progress. Mm hmm Um Amanda, I'm gonna go grab drinks. Do you want a water? Love a water, Sarah? I'm okay. Okay. I'll be right back. Um, I travel with snacks and drinks usually. Yeah. Can I have <laughs> some uh, nacho burritos? Yes. Do mm. they get hungry at like weird times? I travel with stuff. Yeah. I am. Um, it is not normally this warm in here. It's very warm in here. Yeah. Normally I'm freezing, yeah. which is why I brought like a sweatshirt. And yeah. Everything. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Is it 2.30? Awesome. 
I want to play flip ships after this. Mm -hmm. It's really fun. Flipping things out fun to me. It is. It actually tells you in the instructions. It's like, no, it has to flip end over end. This isn't called frisbee ships. Nah. <laughs> so you can't go like that. You need to go like that. You gotta flip it. That's cute. Yeah, it's very cute. Um, and our buddy Travis and I made it last night. It was awesome. Thank you. Water. Have you had any bees? No. Excellent. The only funny thing is your chair makes these very alarming noises, which are much louder on stream than they are in the room. Just the way the, the mic picks it up, I guess. Oh God, where? Let me, let me, let me. All right. You're heading down towards that. Mm -hmm. Did we do that thing? Uh, what did we just do? Did I just encounter the Red Rocket Station? No, I did the encounter. Oh, did you did the, the encounter there. Move, move. You have one more um, action. Okay. So I can't move, though, because that's a, that's a rough terrain? You could, and that would be all you could do. No, because you moved. I already moved. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. She's only got half a move. Yeah. Yeah. So, then it's just end its base turn? Yeah, oh yeah, that would make the most amount of sense. Yeah. You could camp. Oh, okay. And gain your XP. She's used half a move. She moved into that Oh, that's space. right. Okay. And then she yeah. encountered the room. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. then you, okay. you end your turn. So I'm done. Okay. okay. So now something happens. Yes. Now a couple of things are going to happen. So first, shields move. It's going to move towards you. Yep. Um, that's going to move towards me. Critters move. Me. That's going to activate. That's going to move towards you. Yes. Um, and then robots move. So that's going to move towards me. And that's going to move towards me. And that's it. You have a nice little, uh, yeah, I little do. army coming at you. Yeah, I, I really do. It's... Yeah, there are a lot of folks out on the board because so much has been revealed at this point. Yeah. Um, and when we next need to reveal one of these, we will shuffle. And, we and then this moves up one, so, so we lose some Amanda, of our victory points. Gotcha. I want to make sure we're doing this right. Yeah. I believe it's when the last one is revealed, not when you go to okay. turn over the next one. So I think okay. right now the shields move forward one because mm -hmm. it's the one that's further back. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll 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 No, how about I gotta keep my you can have this Yeah, so this game feels like just like a post-apocalyptic world, as yeah. opposed to, for me, or as opposed to like Fallout flavor. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I, I probably would have, would gain more in it if I had played Fallout, but even having not played it, I'm still very still much enjoy. enjoying the game. Yeah. That's awesome. yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of the sort of tongue-in-cheek humor of Fallout. Yeah. That, there's a lot of in-jokes that you get if right. you played the games. Right. Yeah, like there's a a bit with a cat that yeah. is named in the sure. games. Sure, yeah. Um, but then some of the quest names are really funny. Like, in the games, you encounter aliens all oh, right. once. Like, you, a ship will crash. There's a DLC in yeah. Fallout 3 that is Mothership Zeta. And you end up up on a spaceship. Yeah. Um, you can get, like, an alien blaster as a weapon. So there's a quest that says, like, I'm not saying it was aliens. And then one of the quests that leads to is, but it's it was aliens. aliens. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was just SpaceX. Oh my yeah. god, did you guys see that? That was, yeah, so, was cool. Yeah, so cool. Yeah, so cool. I like Elon Musk saying, you think that was a spectacle, wait until the next one. Yes. And they're using three stage oh one god. rockets. Oh my god. I have friends who've been working on those. Very cool. Yeah. All right. Well, this is all horrible. <laughs> go that way. I'm definitely going that way. And I guess I'll come back up towards you. 
Um, I mean, you could go here and explore that yeah, as your next two actions. Yeah, could do that. Because I'm heading over toward Dashbury Road. Okay. Is that somewhere we need to be? Is that still yeah. on that? Oh, no, I, I, I defeated that one when I... What, are, what do we have up for quests? Um, we have in Institutionalize, so kill any robot, or go to the railroad. Mm -hmm. Now that everything's moved up that way, you could go around them. <laughs> yeah, you could. And then we have um, do a... Um, is that an do an encounter at yeah, any uh, it, intelligence or luck at any uh, settlement to try and uh, interrogate somebody about the vaults mm -hmm. or just uncover the vault and encounter Vault Eighty Four if you have a companion. Vault Eighty Four is there, and you have a companion. I do. I can go up that way. That's Vault Eighty Four. Yeah, it's difficult for yeah. terrain to get into it. Yeah. But once you're in it, you can encounter yeah. it. You know, I'm going to come this way. Gain a hit point back. Yep. That's so useful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna keep moving. Come this way. So if I camp Actually, next, boom, boom. if I camp next to you, if you move like here, yeah, and camp, then we can trade, and you're gonna gain stuff and gain like well rested and stuff like that. I can get some life back. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. So, Amanda, you moved twice? Yes, I did. Did you go through uh, grads? I did, and I gained my own oh. back already. Sorry, I was looking at my phone. Sorry. That's okay. Okay. So let's move me next to you. One, two. Yeah. And then camp? And then camp, yes. Okay. So you get the well-rested perk. Yep. Which is... You get the little happy guy. Yeah. It's on the back side of the victim. This one here. So that goes in the little notch above your line. Yep. So you can expend that at any time to get a reroll. Okay. So you just throw it away to get a reroll. Okay. Which is nice. Uh, you gain three hit points. Okay. If you would like to trade with Amanda, you may. So I gain hit points back by moving through irradiated territory. Oh, uh -huh. you do not have luck. You could ex I can use, use that to get some experience. Yeah, I would say do that now. Okay, so let's 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 uh, discard this. I waited, and then I went up in level. And when I went up in level, I drew two L things and didn't have a choice. I just took luck, and I was like, oh well, that's pointless. Yes. Um, so I get two experience points, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'm gonna move up here. One and then two would be back this. Yep. Now you're gonna do I get to go little. here or do no, I stop? I stop here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I have an L and I have a P. So L is luck and P and is P you already have. I already have. So if you take P, mm -hmm. you get a perk. You can choose you get from a perception perk. And what do perks do? In they general. are super powerful cards Let you can discard to do stuff. Perception okay. perks. So, your choices are Knight Person or Sniper. Knight Person. Discard to place your figure in any space on the map. Oh. Then, you may perform a fight, quest, or encounter action. That's nice. All for free. And all for free. Does that using a perk count as an action? Or no. Nope. You just, you you just discard, discard it yeah. and it's a free action. Okay. Or sniper. Discard to be a sniper. Until the end of your turn, you can target any enemy on the map when you fight using a uh, ranged weapon. The enemy does not inflict any hits on you. I want that you one. You don't have a ranged weapon, though. Yeah. You can't oh, I have to have with it a, uh, without, without. With all right, so I'll take the, I want the other person. Night person is good. Perks sound like them. They yeah. are. They yeah. are super Being powerful. able to move instantly and take an action. Mm -hmm. Wow. I've, Let's go I've through used some that of the, I'm going to go through some of these perks. Um, before we end the round. Sure. Um, so S, the perks are Pain Train and Armorer. Pain Train is you discard to gain one movement point, and until end, the end of your turn, each time you move into a space that has an enemy whose level is equal to or lower than your shield, you kill that enemy. So, like, you could just plow through a bunch of level one enemies if yeah. there were a bunch there. Um, like... If like this, if this was here, you could be like, okay, I'm going like boom, 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 and just take them all out. That's cool. Um, armor 
discard at a settlement this is kind of a basic to gain an apparel item from the shop or from any discard pile. Mm -hmm. Which is nice. What's in the shop right now? Right now we have two stim packs, a ripper and a sniper rifle. But you need ten uh, caps. Uh, um, though if we're camping and we want to trade, I was like, I could give you caps to get the sniper rifle, but it's not enough. No. Uh, so E, endurance, lead belly, discover, discard to recover all of your, uh, rads. rads. Rad. Not Tough. useful for Amanda, but no, useful, but useful for me. Yeah. yeah. Toughness, discard to recover all of your hit points until the end of turn when you would suffer damage, suffer no damage instead. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, these are C, the charisma, inspirational. Discard to remove a companion from another player's inventory or from the shop and add it to your inventory. No. Then unexhaust each of your companions, ignoring their unexhaust conditions. They just, you just get them. Um, Master Trader. Discard to shop. You can buy and sell as many cards as you want. And the cards refresh when you buy them, so you could, like, buy something. Refill the space. Buy again. Refill the space. Yeah. Or sell back. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, intelligence. Swift learner. Discard to level up. Keep both yeah. special tokens. Ooh. If you gain a perk, you cannot choose swift learner. <laughs> so. Gun nut. Uh, discard at a settlement to gain a weapon item from the shop or from any discard pile. Action girl or action boy. Uh, these are the A's, the agilities. Discard to perform two additional actions. So get a, another turn. I got yeah. to use that once. It was awesome. That's nice. Sneak. Discard to sneak. Until the end of your turn, enemies in your space do not prevent you from performing actions. Additionally, enemies with the aggressive icon do not fight you when you move into their spaces. And luck. Fortune finder. Discard to gain eight caps. Ooh. Or Grim Reaper Sprint. Discard to become death itself. Until the end of your turn, perform one additional action after each fight in which you kill an enemy. <laughs> Ooh. So that's fun. Yeah. Yeah, the perks are interesting. Yeah, those are cool. All right, so that... Are you guys trading anything before... I don't... I think we, unless you want my water. Do you want my water? Get some life back? Yeah, because right. I'm only two points down from my max, and I can gain points back by going into a radiator. I love your water. You can have it. I'm definitely give you. That's like, fine. Amanda, does the water give you three points, though? Because you, you get two, and you get a rad, which gets you a third. But I'm only two points down. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So Sarah needs it more than I do okay. because she's like well down in her track. What are you at yeah. right now? Uh, I'm at 11 right now. Yeah, and I'm at 10. Can so, I use this now? Yeah. You could. You could discard it to use it right away, I guess. Yeah. Like, maybe you can discard items at any time. Yeah. yeah. Like during your turn. Yeah. It's still your turn. Yeah. So, so let's do that. Yeah. Because you need that healing. I can go back here and then I get one rad. Yep. So this is going to move up there. Yep. So it just decreases your total points yeah. until you can get rid of it. Yeah. Which is not that bad. No, that's fine. No, you're good. Uh -huh. yeah. All right, so now... Things happen. Yep. All right, so shields move. We're, like, right next to each other, so mm -hmm. that's just going to move up that way. It's going to move this way. Uh, that death claw is going to come this way. And robots are moving towards us. The killer robot one is still out, right? Yeah, I think. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Amanda's turn. Yeah. Yeah. Come over here. It's one. Is that? That's one long. Yeah. Yeah, thing. but is that one space moving into it? Where were you? She was right there. there yeah. Oh, okay. And it's yeah. attached yeah, all one piece. here. Okay. Yeah. So one, two. Ah. Hit point. Nice, nice. Three, four. Just stay away from that death clock. Just a little bit more. Okay. So you moved quite far. Because mm -hmm. I'm trying to get over to the railroad. Right now you're going that way. And I okay, want to go here. Yeah. 
Those don't seem that hard. Yeah, the bounty hunter should be pretty easy. And the looter, you can only go for his legs, but he only takes one hit. Yeah. I mean, I don't have to fight them, I'm just thinking, unless if they activate. Yeah, if they activate. Yeah. If you're in the space with the bounty hunter, if you're in an adjacent space, he gets a free hit on you. When, if he activates. Yeah. But I guess... Yeah. So I can double move if I don't do anything else, right? So yep. I could do one, two, three, and then next turn go in here. You could go. Where, where were you? I was there. Here? Yeah. One, two, three, four. And then end my turn there. Okay. And neither of those guys that you moved through were aggressive? No. Okay. No lightning bolt. Awesome. I mean, that rad scorpion is aggressive, but he's only one. Yeah. You can hit him in arms or legs. Yeah. yeah. I can probably get that. Alright. Stuff happens now. Alright. No railroad agents. Death Claw's coming towards. Yeah, he's coming towards me. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. It's all good. Yep. Um, and that was it. He's the only beast that's out. Nice. You beast, you. So um, one, two, mm -hmm. three, four. No, four. Okay. Because you can only move one space. Yeah. So I can get to the railroad my next turn. Yep. Yeah. And do a thing. Mm -hmm. I want to do uh, the encounter here. The fight? Yes. Or an encounter? Oh, no. Uh, whatever the quest is. is. The whatever the quest is. Oh. This one. Is that the vault? Yeah, vault yeah. again. Okay. So you have a companion. Yes. So you get four experience points. Nice! So I'm going to just loop around. Yes. You actually, you do all your experience before you add anything to your track. Yeah. So one, one two, two, three, three four. Mm -hmm. Yep. But if and you were, if it, to... if it put you back on your track, uh -huh. you would go back on the track before adding anything. Gotcha. Okay. But I get to choose my two. Yep. This is important if you more. don't have a P. Mm -hmm. You would go, like, let's say you had a P, an E but not a P, and you looped around. Right. You would go to the E, and then if you drew a P, you would put it onto your track. Mm -hmm. So you sort of would get, like, an extra an bump actual, up no. towards your next level. Gotcha. So, uh, we've added a card to the Vault 81 deck. The Vault 81 deck, or 84 deck, only has one card in it right mm -hmm. now. Um, but you're already there, so you could encounter Vault 84, right? Yeah. Because you did a quest, but you haven't encountered... Right. You haven't done a, an exploration or whatever you call it. Oh, you're looking at perks? Yeah, because I, I drew both an I and an A, and I have both of them already. Yeah, gotcha. so, so I have to pick a perk. Options. Lots of options. Yeah. So, you know, weapon item. I think I like that one. And the A's are... I think I'm going to take the gun nut. Yeah. So you can discard it to discard at a settlement to gain a weapon and item. Am I at? A, I am, right? Uh huh. No, you are no, not at room. I'm, I'm at a vault. Okay. So when I move. All right. So you still have one action left, right? Uh huh. You could. Oh, I could discard. I could. Let's do that. Right. Going even though I did, 84? even though I did the quest one. Right, because it's two different things. That is doing a quest. And this is this doing, is doing, doing an, an encounter. encounter. Okay. Let's, yeah. Let's go All into right. the vault. Into Sounds the vault. Sounds exciting. A figure stands with open arms and flanking guards uh, behind the door. Welcome to Vault 84. I am Overseer Hayes, the leader of this vault. We haven't let in outsiders in over a hundred years, so I hope you realize how exceptional this is. But after certain recent events, well, let's just say uh, when your stolen pit boy connected, I saw an opportunity. You may thank her and ask about the rules of this vault or walk away. I want to ask about the rules of the vault. Yeah, you do. Okay. <laughs> Don't start any trouble and you should be fine. However, 
We have an annual vote to exile dangerous people from the vault. Even with my blessing, you're not immune. So we shuffle cards 72 through 79 and randomly add a number of them equal to the survivors and then trash the rest. So 72 through 79. And two of those are going to go into this deck. This is fun. We, Amanda and I have not been into any of the vaults. Ooh, okay. Yeah, this is new for us. How many times have you guys played? Um, I played solo like twice. Um, we played it on stream. We played it with Andy's brother. Yeah. I think we played it like one more time. Oh, Andy played it solo. Okay. Once, so yeah. Yeah. So yeah, about five times. Um, I did the Far Harbor. Uh, scenario, which was really interesting. Oh, it? So the thing is, you—it's not like there are agents of each faction. It's you're building fog condensers or you're breaking fog condensers, and so you don't have like things moving, right? Because they're not moving; they never move. They're fog condensers, but oh, break, take two. breaking them, um, you can decide that like you want to help Those the are fog. The new Vault eighty four deck. That like you're an agent of the Church of Adam, right? And therefore you're gonna break the fog condensers to help take over the island with radioactive fog. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, next time. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, the other scenarios are so this is the Commonwealth waste. So this is the Fallout Four. Mm -hmm. There's Fallout Three. So you're in the Capital waste. So that's DC. Right. Um, and its surroundings. Um, and then there's the pit, which is Pittsburgh. Okay. And the pit is all like industrial, like yeah. it creates like we a little done big walled city. We yeah. haven't done that scenario yet. Um, the DLC for the pit was very interesting. It's basically got like a gladiator arena. Okay. Um, so you get to like go in and fight dudes. Sure. And um, you have to find steel ingots, which is like that the most the one achievement I never got annoying in quest ever because they're like hidden yeah. in things. That's like when I played uh, Dragon Age, you get the shards. You know, guys. Just like, oh my god. Yeah. And they're like over a hundred of them. Mm -hmm. There's like a hundred. I think there's exactly a hundred. There might be. Anyways. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, we never bothered to do all of that. Yeah. The, the pit is cool. Like, it's a cool um, DLC. Yeah. My personal favorite DLC, I love Far Harbor. Just flavor wise, Far Harbor is beautiful. Oh, it's like, good. the music is haunting, the environment is gorgeous. Yeah. The story being told is really interesting. Um, just the uh, the whole island is fascinating. It's fun to explore, and it's a really different environment from the rest of the game because you've got the fog, right? And so it's very claustrophobic because you can never see that far in the distance yeah. when you're in the middle of it, and things cut, come out of the fog at you, and you didn't know they were there, and yeah, really great flavor to it. Um, Nuka World was so much fun. It's a theme park. It's basically supposed to be Six Flags. That's cute. Um, but it's Nuka Cola mm -hmm. like themed. Yeah. So it's got like sure different sub sub um, parks. Yeah. So it's got like the uh, it's got like Nuka Town USA, which is like the basic right. area. But then it has like a Wild West theme area, and it's got the Kitty Kingdom, and it's got a sort of safari area. And it's got a futuristic zone. Right. And yeah. each one of those areas, and it's got the world of refreshment, which is the Nuka Cola bottling plant that you can tour. Yes. Um, and each oh. one of those areas has a different thing that you're fighting or like an objective. I got to it clear. wrong when the faction advanced. It's both factions advanced. Because it's in the a two of us game. playing. Right. That. In a single player game, it's the faction that's further behind that moves forward. So that means we still have the same number of victory points because the star is still further ahead right. of the shield. That's good. Yes. Good. Um, but yeah. Well, we have one extra because I'm well rested now. Oh, excellent. So we're at seven. Very nice. We gotta get you some chems. Mm -hmm. All right. So vault eighty-four is set up. Excellent. Sarah did two things. Mm -hmm. I did two things. So now, now the next it. thing happens. Things are activating. Thumbs up. All right. So. That's going to come into that space, and they're not a t uh, aggressive yet, right? Uh, I don't know. Nope. Um, as we move so, down, do they get aggressive? 
Actually, no. Wine never turns aggressive. Okay. Um, so the idea is there's a little track here, mm -hmm. and depending on where these things are on the track, they like they have an X value and a Y value. So the X value is on the railroad member, and if it's up here, its X value is it's a level one. So the further it goes along the track, the higher level it is, sure. which means the harder to kill. Right. Um, if it's a synth, <coughs> it's always level two. But it gains different, um, right. it, like, it has things ranged attacks. until it's in level 3, or it's in this orange zone, in which case, instead of gaining a weapon, it gains a shield, right. so it's hard to kill. So, yeah, but it doesn't gain uh, aggressive. The railroad members are always aggressive, but we don't have any out on the board yet, so. Okay. All right. Um, so that moved into a space with what you. What else is going to try to kill me? This thing is going towards me, I think. Yeah, because I'm closer to it. Um, critters. So that critter is going to come in and attack you. Yep, yep, yep. So that's a rad scorpion. This is moving towards you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So that's moving towards you. All right, so that red scorpion is going to attack you. You need to hit it on arms or legs, and it's a one. I got legs here. And you got arms here. Yeah. So yeah, you kill it. And then so you gain one experience. And it gets two hits on me. It got two hits on you, but it's only a level one, so it's only two hit points. Okay. And you get an experience point. Nice. And a new bug appears face down. Right there. Wow. Is that the, oh yeah, there's one space away from there. So yeah, and that red roach moved towards the I think. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, it did. It was, it was here. like over here, yeah. yeah. Oh my god! Okay. Face down. <laughs> awesome. Alright. Stop him, stop him. What? Um, you say that you he's gay as a person in the front, but I want to make sure. Because there might be other gay people here. They're playing risk downstairs. Yeah, I just want to make sure that he's gay, like, as a... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He did say he's a pretty good game. He did. But, yeah. He's a great gay person in the room. I don't want to try to other gay people. Like, yeah. Guys. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe no. Maybe don't. Yeah. Don't do that. Anyways. Anyway. 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 Well, I have a per I have perception and I have endurance and I have a thing that adds a hit if uh, I'm so doing you have one hit check. already. Yep. So you need Sorry. three more hits and you have two rerolls. Oh yeah, that's a five. I think you passed. Yes, wow. I did. That is a good you roll. That was a really good roll. The star moves up on the track. Excellent. So, so how many how many points do we have now? That should give us eight. So that's right, because it's just one more point. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had seven before because I'm well rested. So now we're at eight. Excellent. So we only need two more points. That's what we need. Amanda, you get three XP, nice. and we stage two one, new two, adventures. Twenty-eight three, and I go one up in forty-eight. Level. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got an E and an L. Ooh, do I want an endurance power? Ooh, what are the endurance perks? That doesn't matter. It's getting rid of all my rads. Like, you know. Ooh, toughness is really good. Discard to recover all of your HP until the end of your turn when you would suffer damage, suffer no damage instead. That one's good. That's really good because we got that death claw hunting me. And yeah. I, I feel like I'm going to need that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to get a gun in a second. Excellent. So, we have two new quests coming out. Excellent. Tell Wonderful. me when you're ready. I am ready. I'm ready. Okay. The nuclear option. The railroad has infiltrated the Institute and has incited a mass revolt. They now plan to finish off the Institute once and for all. 
Place a star quest marker, a uh, star and a quest marker at the railroad. Okay, so we get a star What's here. A star? What's the quest marker? Quest markers are these guys. Does it matter what color? Doesn't matter. Uh, this quest marker is the reactor blueprint. A survivor in the same space as the blueprint can move the blueprint with his or her figure. When doing this, treat all spaces as difficult terrain. So, so you can I drag that around with you. Yeah. It's blue. blue. <laughs> okay. I appreciate that. All right, your, your two options are take out as many of the rebels as possible, synths and railroad alike, kill any star or shield, or, uh, which raises the shield on the uh, track when you succeed, or the railroad has blueprints of the Institute's reactor. If they can get the blueprints there, they can set it to blow and end this forever. If the blueprints are at the CIT ruins, the star moves four spaces up on the track. We would win at that point. Because, yes, it would hit the end of the track, right. but it hitting the end of the track would, if, without moving the shield brings us two more spaces so ahead, that and that gives need. us the ten points that yeah. we need. Yeah. The other uh, quest that just came out is Rogue Vertibird. It's an old rust bucket, but it still flies. An old engineer named Tully fixed up a Brotherhood of Steel wreck and now flies people around for caps. You won't ride long with Tully without hearing about how he got his large facial scar fighting off the death claw that killed his brother. Place a quest marker on the highest level uh, settlement. That would be Diamond City, I believe. Yeah. Diamond, Diamond City's a level, level four. four. Yeah. Yeah, this there aren't is... any other settlements that are. Yeah, the, that's level three. This is the Vertibird. You may. Pay for a ride by going to the vertebrate and spending four caps, uh, which moves you to any empty space. Or avenge Tully's brother, kill a death claw, which gets you a <laughs> thumbs up and stages a new quest. So those are your new options. Um. <laughs> yeah, killing a death claw is a tall order. You need a good weapon and good armor. Yeah. And lots of perks. Yeah. I mean, I do have I do have that toughness perk. Damn. <laughs> okay. Um, so, Amanda, you moved and encountered? No, I started in that space. Oh, you started Because okay. I, I finished yeah. there last time. So you could drag the instructions one space with you. Yeah, I could. I'm going to try to do that. Where are you trying to get them to? Um, I'm trying to get them to the CIT, to the CIT ruins. Yeah. Okay. So I'm actually going to drag them into this irradiated space with me and get a life back. And get a life back. That's a great idea. Mm. And that also keeps me like two spaces away yeah. from the And Super Mutant the could get you. Yeah. We'll yeah. Okay. Sarah's turn. Okay. So I'm going to move to the settlement right there. Yep. And at a settlement, I can sell things. Yes. And uh, I can... Is that an option as a settlement? I think you have to encounter it and get a shopping option. Oh, yeah, you might have to. Okay, yeah. doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to discard my uh, perk for... Because um, you're at a settlement. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and I'm going to get a weapon. Nice. Get that sniper rifle or the ripper? I think I want the sniper rifle, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to unequip my tire iron and put that there yep. and take yeah. my, my sniper rifle. So what's the sniper rifle get you? You get a reroll with perception or during a fight, acrobatics? During a fight, a head wound and a, um, a w attack on me results always inflict hits on the enemy. When you perform a fight action, I cannot choose to fight an enemy in your space. Um, okay. And then... The you get a reroll on perception or, or uh, attack or, yeah. or acrobatics yeah. if you're using a ranged weapon, which means if they're in the space next to you and not in the space with you. Right. Gotcha. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you know what you could do? You could use a fight action right now to shoot one of those guys in the space next to you. Yes, I can. Do either of them have loot? Uh, what is what's the loot icon? Uh, it's a little bag of loot. It's, it's what it looks like. Yeah. No. But, this is a one hit wonder. Yeah. So I could just take that one out. And what is that one? This is a one, and it does have loot. It's a human. 
So I can take that one out too. Yeah. Or instead of. Um, so actually, let's kill the one with the loot. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, yeah, you you get one hit automatically because you're attacking from an adjacent space yeah. with a gun. Yes. So bam, it's dead. Yeah, it's that, that was easy. Yeah. Get the loot. Man, having a gun is nice. I like so guns. good. All right, so we get a new dude uh, who comes out face down in the nearest dude space. Which I think is that one. The super duper mark. I think you're right. Yeah, I think it's that. Yeah, that's a clear one. Here you go. So you get one XP, and you get a loot. I get a loot. I get a uh, Preston Garvey, the companion. <gasps> Preston, yeah, another Preston. settlement needs your help. Yeah. Uh, ignore, uh, exhaust to ignore the effects of, of difficult terrain until the end of your turn. Um, if there is not a uh, 68 or 109 de an deck, which there is not, keep this companion when it unexhausts. Yep. So if there is a 68 or 109 deck, you don't get to keep him. He runs yeah. off he runs towards away. other things. So because I already have one companion. Oh yeah, you have to choose. Are you going to keep your load lifter, or are you, I mean, you can put him in your inventory. Yeah, I can leave him here. Yeah. What is, does he have any um, conditions? No, Preston just it just has to exhaust. Um, the load lifter during. So I have to have it equipped to use it, though, right? Yes. Okay. So during a test or fight that uses uh, strength, right? It's off to add one hit. So yeah, I think I'll keep him. you don't him. have strength, so you can't use him. Or no, I'm sorry, a, a test for strength. Yes, yes. you need exhaust him to get an extra hit. No, because if you you may keep two additional cards here. I think I'm going to keep him equipped for now. I can unequip her at any point in my turn, Maybe right? A quick question. Yeah. Your duster. Yeah. You don't have to exhaust it to get that automatic hit? Nope. Damn, that is good. Yeah, yeah that duster that is, is such a fantastic damn piece of equipment. Yeah. I am always grab this is, it looks like McCready's duster. Uh-huh. So yeah. So McCready is one of the uh, companions you can have and he's adorable. Aww. Um he's also a murder boy. And he's voiced by uh, uh, Matt Mercer. Matt Mercer. Aww. Yeah. And it doesn't sound like him at all yeah. until you're like he's just pitching his voice higher. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, Oh, he's talking like this instead of talking like he normally right. does, which is really funny. It is really funny. Um, and he's, I, I love McCready. Um, though Deacon is, you get him from the railroad, and he is a smart ass, and you can see him earlier in the game. Mm -hmm. He spies on you. So at various points in the game, there's a guy in like aviator glasses. Yeah hanging around and he seems to belong there but kind of not right and that's deacon and so when you eventually actually meet him yeah he'll tell desdemona who's the head of the railroad about your like the things that you've done that you've done leading up to that he'll right. be like she did this in diamond city and she did this other thing in you know in good neighbor and didn't you hear about that time that she fought that death claw and you're like oh right he, he was watching me, and you can actually spot him watching yeah. you in places. So there's love a point him because where you never really find out his backstory. You have no idea. He's a total liar. He lies about everything. He's really funny. He's like, back when we formed the railroad. Yeah. And he's also, you know, I'm a synth, right? And oh, he's got like five different backstories. I, I used to run me. with this gang. He has this whole thing. And he's, it's total nonsense. Yeah. And he's awesome. That's a um, fun character. There was a really fun Deacon cosplayer when I cosplayed as the Silver Shroud. Oh, yeah? And she was amazing. She was just, she was hilariously in character. That was really fantastic. That's fun. She was like, dirty jeans and a t-shirt and a wig? I can do that. Fallout is a first person shooter, isn't it? Yeah. You can do it third person. Like, you can do it with over the shoulder yeah. view. Um, I prefer first person when I'm playing it. I find it hard you're like slightly offset yeah and i just find it hard to track my character the reason why i came out with a vr it. version if you have a vibe i don't but <laughs> first person shooters make me nauseous yeah. but you can play it third person yeah. you can do the over the shoulder view maybe i'll do that one of these days um i, I have all this free time now <laughs> i highly 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 <laughs> recommend um looking up graham stark's agatha fisty uh videos okay he plays agatha fisty the one punch grandma one and Punch Grand. One Punch, one punch Grand. Yeah. And it is hilarious. Basically, he let the chat in his stream 
um, dictate where he was going next. Oh, that's cute. Or like that's the a, the, yeah. the comments in the videos. Yeah. That's like a he was like, tell me which rats. direction to go. He's like, so everyone told me to go west, so I'm, or go east, so I'm going to go east until I encounter something. And then he'd encounter something and be like, I'm going to punch it. <laughs> I like it. Everything he encounters, he punches. He punches. That's okay. Cute. All right. So, yeah. so that um, was so two actions. You no. encountered the space and then you fought. Oh, that's right. Yes, I did fight. Yeah. So I'm done. All right. All right. Things are happening. I forgot. I Amanda. Yep. Oh, uh, we need to replenish for the. Oh um, yeah, yeah. For the store. Yeah. Curie. Oh, Curie. I can't have her as a companion because I'm vilified. <laughs> um. Curie is a French Amanda's robot. robot girlfriend. She's my robot girlfriend in my playthrough, my first playthrough. She's my French robot girlfriend. I like it. Yeah. Um, you can exhaust her to recover five hit points, and if you have ten or fewer hit points, you keep her when you when she exhausts. So okay. She'll stick around and heal you yeah. if you're doing poorly. Um, but you have to be idolized to get her. Not just not vilified, you have to be idolized. idolized. Um, yeah, you encounter her in the game by like finding a secret part of a vault and finding a cure for a vault. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Color in there. She could be something that you get through one of these cards. That's true. Super mutants. Bum, bum. No. It's aggressive, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's gonna be vicious. It's gonna it's gonna be painful. Uh, are there any other super mutants on the board? Nope. Just the one. Okay. All right. All right. You can do Fighting it. Fighting time. You can do it. You've got one shield because you've, got, you've it, yeah. got your duster. And if I have to, I can discard this to not take any damage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 No problems then. Yeah, you're fine. You're going you're gonna to murder it. I needed three chest hits. I got I got one. So I didn't kill it. But, but it won't kill you. I'm discarding this so it doesn't kill me. And then you don't take any damage the rest of the turn, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know if they go back in the pile or not. I think they so. do. Yeah. Because you. Yeah. Yeah. That's why that yeah. that fast yeah. learner says that you can't name it as the one that you mm. take. Yes. Because you're putting it back in, but it's not oh, in until after, until after you're done. Yeah. So yeah, it does go back in the deck. Okay. So that's mine from earlier. Kurt just texted me. Yeah. Saying uh, happy birthday, old friend. You know you're one of my oldest friends, and I think he means age-wise because he's a jerk. Okay. Okay. I mean. Yeah, I'm older than you. He, I'm yeah. older, so... He says, happy birthday, old friend. You know you're one of my oldest friends. You should point out to him that I'm far older. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, we were playing, we were playing Dice Forge. We were like, who's the yeah. youngest player? And we were all like, oh, it's Tim. And we were playing with Angela. Have you guys played games with Angela? Up in, in, I don't know what her last name is. No, I don't know Angela. She's Asian. She's very sweet. Um... She was like, oh, how old are you? And Jen and I always made fun of Tim. He's not, not, and Tim's not that young. He just turned 31. That's young. He's a baby. 30? No, he just turned 30. So God, he's, he's a baby. He's a, he is a baby, but we always think he's like 18. That's, yeah. like, that's like the joke. Because we're, you know, we're 34, almost 35. So. Travis, yeah. who streams with us on Fridays, always ends up being player one because he's the youngest. He's the youngest. Yeah. It's kind of sad. Well, one of my internet <laughs> like, well, friends. Well, I'm old, so. Yeah. I mean, my internet friend Shannon is 10 years younger than me, and like, when I realized that she was 18, and we were talking, I was like, if I was a man, this would be very uncomfortable. <laughs> Kurt, she's Kurt still is crazy. one of my older friends. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've known Kurt since uh, sophomore in high school. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I miss Kurt. Freshman year. It was awesome seeing Kurt in Mookie the other day. Yeah, it was really good seeing him. Where do they live? Uh, Kurt Kurt's in France. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah. Mookie lives in Florida. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they are, they are very good friends from high school. Mm -hmm. Um, they were like AV friends. Amanda, don't say anything people. inappropriate because that's on camera. I wasn't going to say anything inappropriate. Why You're talking to Kurt. I would text something inappropriate <laughs> to Kurt, but I wouldn't say anything on camera inappropriate. No, I'm saying your phone is on camera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, there's nothing. He's just wishing me a happy birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Telling him I'm streaming Fallout. Yeah. Yeah. Fallout. He should hop on. He should. Also, it's uh, eight o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. He has very nice. 
All right. So All right. you are starting your turn, Amanda. I assume you're just dragging those dr instructions towards the CIT room. Yeah, that is precisely one, that's what one I'm move. doing. You gain a hit point. Right? That's yep. irradiated. Uh, I'm oh, at my max. max. Okay, okay. Um, and this is touching this. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to use my second action to drag it into that space. Wow, we kind of... Next kinda, turn, you're going to win. We kind Like, that's... I guess we didn't luck out. We did luck out that this doesn't have any hard terrain in it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And it just... It matches up yes. nicely there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hard terrain doesn't matter because you're... Well, no, no, no. My point being yeah. that this... Oh. It wasn't like it was hard for me to get through oh, this yeah. square, yeah, yeah. It was, it was and an there, this actually touches there, mm -hmm. so I'm Taking right into the middle of that. Taking that long trip around the wasteland that dragged all the enemies towards the top of the map definitely helped. That worked out really yeah. well for us. I led them on a wild goose chase. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and Allie and Nate are on their way. Oh, cool. <laughs> so I feel like we could set up like flip ships after this, because we're going to yeah. finish. Yeah. yeah. And then um, we can play flip ships. Sounds awesome. Which is really fun. Sounds good to me. I think you'll like flip ships. It's it yeah. sounds like it will. It's a good time. Yeah. So okay. So, so um, so if I move into that into that terrain, can I still do? No, not that one. I want to go to Vault Eighty Four because I want to oh, do yeah. one of the encounters in there. Yeah. I can uh, do that, there's, right? There's an enemy there's there. There's an enemy there. So, so because this guy is there, so you can't encounter without guy. defeating him. That's, yeah. Are those hard to fight? The synths right now are still them. level one. So they have a ranged weapon, and they're level two. You have to hit them in the chest. Uh, and but no. doesn't something happen if you kill a synth? Kill any synth or uh, railroad. And it, it advances the synth track. So we would lose one point, yes. right? But this gets us like four. Like four points because it takes it to the top of the track. Right? Huh? So... By doing this, Andy, yes. I move this all the way, yeah. right? Yeah. But also, if I fight it, I can't do it. I, I have to do yeah, next turn anyway. Moved. So it doesn't matter because we're going to win next turn, then let's just go back. Yeah. yeah. And, and I'll do just, something else? Yeah, I'll just kill that, whatever that. No, 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 from yeah, where I'm standing, I have a gun. Yeah, shoot. Yeah. Kapow. yeah, definitely shoot that. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to kill that one. You're going to so kill the red there roach? level one there? Yeah, that, yeah, there, the that red roach is the level it's one. It's level one. It's dead. Yeah, it's gone. You just shoot it. I just shoot it. Um, and let's draw another bug. You get a, an experience point. Bug. That's gonna go there. I get an experience point. And I still have another action left, yes, right? Yes, you do. Can I attack again? Yeah, you could... Uh, no. no. You no, can't take the same action, action twice. Point. Okay. So... You could move into the space with the robot and it will attack you because it's aggressive. Mm, no. Which it, no, that no. robot's not aggressive. And oh, that robot's oh not aggressive. I thought no. that robot was aggressive. No. The aggressive no. things out on the board right now are the Death Claw and the Super Mutant, because yeah. of course they are. Yeah. Of course. But I can do an encounter where I'm standing. Yeah, yes. you totally so let's can. Let's do an encounter. Let's Is do Hoffman Farm. It's a settlement. Settlement. Oh. Hoffman Farm. Okay. What the? She's got a bomb! <gasps> a shrieking laugh rises above the tumult. As the market clears, you see a crazed woman holding a beeping mass of metal. We don't like that. You have two options. Guys, one of the most tense sounds in the game. There are super mutants oh, that yeah. have um, like nuclear bombs yeah. strapped to their beep, hands. Beep, and you hear this beep, 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 oh beep, my God. beep. And you hear it from a distance coming at you. And you, you're like, where is it? No, thank where you. is it coming from? And you have to find it and take it, it out. Blows up. Yeah. All right. But if you can take it out beforehand and blow up something that's not its arm, you get to take the nuke away from it. That was nice. So your two options are uh -huh. grab something and run, or rush in and take her out, which is an endurance and charisma check of four. I don't need one of those things. <laughs> you're not either, and you don't have a high endurance and you're not charismatic. No. So let's take something and run. Okay. You sprint away from the settlement as the bomb explodes. Become vilified. Oh no! So what, I take one of these? Yeah, the red one. Yeah. Now we're both vilified. Yep. People hate us, but we sure have lots of influence in the Commonwealth. Choose one item from the shop. Ooh. Stim pack? Uh, the Ripper would 
replace your sniper yeah, rifle. Yeah, like sniper rifle. I'm gonna keep that. So I'll take a stim pack. Yeah, because not we can't take carry because yeah. people hate us. And this goes um, in this pile. <laughs> yes, that's one of your. Is that a drug? It is a drug. So I need two more of them, and then I would get um, another. Yeah, another point up. there. Mm -hmm. And we add something to this deck. Not that we're going to encounter it. No. Now we're, something we're just happens. Happen. Yes. All right. We just have to hope it's not something disastrous. Okay. So first shields move, so that's going to move into a space with you. But it's not aggressive, so not it's aggressive. not going to attack. That's going to move, I think, towards, towards Amanda, me. Yeah. Um, beasts move, so he's going to move towards me. And critters activate, so these both turn over. And that moves towards Sarah. Definitely closer. So that's a bloat fly, that's a distance attack, but it's not aggressive. And sting wing, that's also not aggressive. Nothing big happens. Okay, yeah. so Amanda. You moved there. Dragged the stuff in there. The blueprints is at the CIT ruins. Yep. The red moves forward four. One, yeah. two, three, four. <laughs> and then he just goes to the end. So of that the is track. the end of the game. Right. But that also gives us so how many spaces ahead is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you I get think two you points win. for every. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or you get an extra point. You get so an extra seven, point. And seven, and then eight, nine, ten, eleven, and yeah. it was ten points to, to win. Twelve because she's well rested. I'm well rested. Nice. Yeah. Congrats. Yeah. Go team. I really like doing it co-op. Yeah, that was, that fun. was yeah, fun. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Cause like it sort of acted like you were the hero, like you were the hero getting all the like influence mm -hmm. going around to being like yeah. the person doing stuff and making a name for yourself. And I was like, okay, I'll go grab the, the blueprints <laughs> and take care of that for you while you... You go do that thing. Yeah. You, yeah. Yes. Um, that was fun. That was really fun. That was really good. I, that duster is amazing. That, that duster is awesome. sniper rifle. Getting the gun nut perk to take that weapon that while nice. that sniper rifle was out yeah. was like... Yeah. So choice. That was such a good time. So that was awesome. Yes. That was a lot of fun. Yes. I really enjoyed this game. Yeah. So I'm going to reset the deck really now. While I do I'm that, glad you enjoyed it. That makes me really happy to know yeah. that you enjoyed it even without yeah. the, um, the like, knowing the flavor like of it. It just feels like a post-apocalyptic game is what it feels like. The the actual mechanics are really well done. Like it doesn't, it the mechanics don't rely on you knowing Fallout. See, this is what I was trying, I was explaining to someone. I it, but. Because I know Fallout, yeah. I was like, maybe I'm missing something, no. and there really is something that you need to know. But I'm glad that I'm that I was right in that assessment. Yeah, that no, the mechanics are really good that you don't need to know the game. Yeah, that you, it's like it adds to the flavor of it without taking away, like without not knowing it taking away yes. from the mechanic of it, which is awesome. So I think we're going to. Go offline. I'm gonna take for a little, little break. While. We're yep. gonna take a break. I think I'm gonna order some food. Ooh. What do you think, Amanda? Um. Should we wait until after flip ships? Um. I would say maybe when Nate and Allie get here, we should order food. Okay. And that way, that. if they wanna get Perfect. in on that, they can do that. Um. I'm just resetting the decks here. Just go something. I kind of want empanadas again. Ooh, empanadas. They're really good. <laughs> There's a place uh, near here that does um, mac and cheese pizza. Yeah, that pizza is deadly. <laughs> it's still got some it in the fridge. It has and cheese on it. That's amazing. We went to a restaurant last night in, yes. in Boston and we got truffle mac and cheese. And like, I, I got home and I, and like, I'm, I just, that's all I want in my life now. Some <laughs> more of that. And I've had truffle mac and cheese. This one was just particularly just good. Really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, this stuff is like. It's so greasy amazing. and so filling. Yeah. I eat like one yeah. slice of it and I'm like, man, I'm full. But they <laughs> also have empanadas. Yeah. They're just like a nice like beef mix with spicy sauce. And you can get it with a sweet sriracha dipping sauce. Mm. I like that is quite hot. <laughs> So I'm glad we finally got too. into the vault. Yeah, we didn't get it's to true. We didn't get to do yeah. more with it. I wanted to go do one. Yeah, I think but if we were playing a competitive game, it would have been yeah. because we wouldn't be helping each other. So it would have taken longer, longer for us, for us to, to like one person to yeah. amass yeah. 
at the same amount of stuff, um, one of us would have like gone and done more of that. Um, I'm really impressed by how much of the map we turned over. Mm -hmm. There was a blank. There wasn't like anything else interesting down here. Vault 109 is over here. Okay, so Vault 109 is there, and that's the um, nothing there. The Super Mutant Camp is. I thought there were three vault decks. Um, there is, but I think. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe not in this scenario? Hmm. One of them may come out with something else where there's like a hidden no, entrance to one. Be, yeah. So, yeah. like, okay, in the game, there's um, a couple of different places where. In the video un game. Yeah, yeah, until yeah. you reach them, they look like like a school. Sure or like something else and then when you get in there you find that there's a vault entrance right. nearby and the icon on the map changes to a vault entrance and you can go to the vault not just the like yeah. location yeah. um like i think it's malden middle school has hmm. that one hmm. is it malden middle school that has the one where they were training the kids yeah to shoot yeah um, all the vaults have what a like surprise. these messed up social experiments going on in them yeah um, and that's like the whole thing is right. that they were experiment like Vault Tech was experimenting with yeah. people. Um, and Malden Middle School was um, they brought kids in and then shut the parents out. And then they were like training the kids to be to their like highest potential. Right. And then they basically just scraped them through DNA. They like kill the kids. So either the kids become part of the research team if they're really smart, but if they're physically fit, Amanda, can I have? Your they get killed. What? Perks? Or no? Okay. Oh, that's that. Perks are all here. Yeah. Yep. Okay. What are you looking for? I was looking for your your uh, vilify. I already put that back. Okay, so that's there. I like so that he's dressed kind of a gangster. Oh yeah, so. Good Neighbor is totally like a mob, like there's a whole noir-esque yeah. thing in Fallout 4 where like you go and meet Nick Valentine who's a, he's a private eye and uh, yeah, he's, a hard boiled, he's a hard boiled, he's a hard boiled, he's a private dick. I always and, uh, play uh, he's a private eye in Arkham Horror. And you would love Nick, yeah. Nick's awesome. Um, Nick Valentine, Valentine Detective Agency. Um, and you go meet him and he's like going up against a gangster yeah. who is like a mob boss basically and they're all dressed like that. They've right. all got like, you know, trilbies and stuff. And they're really funny. And uh, they, um, they're called uh, Trigger Men. And they've camped out in Park Street, in Park Street Station. And Park Street Station was taken over to become a vault. But being much like the Big Dig, which there's a quest named after the Big Dig, which is really funny. That is really funny. Um, much like the Big Dig, it was basically all like graft and like, you know, over budget, and it was just a way to make jobs for people and like get them paid. So it's this horrible, horrible place. The, the special perks in. You got that all bag. of the, all of these were in one place. Okay. I and you've got two bags thing. left, so one of those must be the special perks, and one must be that. Okay. Here's the uh, the four player and three player things. Um. But yeah. These he, are the um, perks. The perks were in that deck. De yes. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, those go in one of these little baggies. Okay. So I'm. We're gonna go offline for a little bit. Take a break. Yep. And when we return, we're we'll going to play Rich. some flip chips. Flip chips. So get us a, a couple of moments to get ourselves reset, and we'll see you in a moment. Um. Yeah.